<laughs> Mama's got to work in the morning. Mm -hmm. Same, same girl, same. All right. Hey, everybody. This is Matt from Lucy Crusaders. And joining us tonight is Sarah. She's over and William will be home soon. And then Bobby and Sam from My Whiskey She Wines. And then Kristen Bourbon and Sam will be joining us here soon. So we just want to say hi to everybody. And this is our first stream. And it's not really an agenda. We're just going to kind of hang out. And you guys can ask questions and talk about whiskey. And we'll just go from there and see what everybody's up to tonight. And hopefully we'll get some people to join us. And I guess we got seven in the chat so far. Say hi to Steve. Dustin, Brian, Matt Bailey, who else? Mike M. I guess Chris is in the chat already, and Christine Deems. So that's pretty cool. Seven, and then link the links. I'll take that. You're, you're well Wayne. ahead of our first live. Yeah, our first live had one. It was <laughs> <laughs> been from National Drum. Hey, that's <laughs> a pretty good one to have. Right, right, right. You right. can't really complain. That's no, for we sure. were not complaining. It was fantastic. Yes. Yeah, so, so nobody went live tonight. So we were like, well, hell, J J Jason can't go live. Crappy and at the hotel and uh, I guess cash train couldn't go live tonight. So we figured what the hell, let's go ahead and do it ourselves and see what the hell happens here. Cause we really have no idea what we're doing, but it should be a good time. I say hi to J Jason Coates just came in. All right. So uh, I guess what do you guys want to start with whatever whiskey you guys want. I'm just going to start with one of my favorite whiskeys of all time. The Balcone is single malt. Cause this is just one of the first, my first loves as far as Texas whiskey goes. I think that's always a good one to start with. Hey Travis. So our, our one of our biggest fans actually uh, come out of Iowa. The Iowans, we call them, are a lot of fun out there. Well, I'm going to start with Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend because that's my favorite that I have currently. Yeah, that's a really good whiskey. That's a great place to start. Can't complain right? about that at all. It's all going downhill from here. It's going downhill from here. <laughs> no, no. And I'm doing Franzia tonight for now. I'll get to the whiskey in a little bit, but I've got the dark red blend. So, yeah, I mean, talk about I'm, classy first. Sure. I, dark I, don't, I don't fuck around, guys. This is this is how I roll. This is real life. <laughs> I've got some Andalusia over here. I'm going Texas as well. Which one? Yeah, uh, it's the single malt with the Andalusia. With the striker or, or the uh... no? No, just the it's just the Andalusia. Oh, it's the, the triple, the triple distilled. Yeah, triple distilled. Okay, they're Irish version. They're Irish. So that, that's awesome. So what everybody else? What's everybody in the chat drinking tonight? Mm. All right, so I got some. Uh, we got some challenge coins from our friendly channels here. We got we got a bourbon stain challenge coin. We got a Scotch test dummies. We got a whiskey dick. Now I'm drinking out of my out of my fancy glass, not my Glencairn, which none of the whoops. Jesus none Christ. None of these other get ones will fit on. Get your shit together, Bobby Zeller. You're but, throwing the whiskey dick around like all willy-nilly. It's too early for that. But the my bourbon journey <laughs> fits perfectly on my on my fancy glass. So <laughs> thank you, Scott. Yeah, Perfect. That wide. Yeah, I just grabbed uh, Bill's coin since. Bill's helped us a lot to get this channel up and running. I really want to thank Bill and Sarah and Chad and Roy and Scott and the dummies because they're over in Ireland having sure. Oh, they're probably, I guess probably it's the middle of the night over there right now. Yeah, Before they're living their really best life right now. Don't here. mind me. I'm just <laughs> it up. Yeah, just fill the whole damn glass up with Franzi. You'll feel Why great not, tomorrow. right? <sighs> but yeah, so we want to thank all those channels. They helped us tremendously starting this. Um, last year we met all of them in Austin. And I had no intention of starting a channel, just met down there for the Whiskey Tribe. And it was like, just that's where I met uh, William and Sarah. The funny thing is they ended up living like two miles down the street from me. Yeah. It actually worked out perfect. So we just got together like, hey, you guys know a lot about whiskey. Why don't you start a channel? So it's like, fuck, well, yes, we will. So that's what we did. It's perfect. So and we have a big whiskey collection. So there's always something good to choose from. Can't complain. That might, that that might be sure. the understatement of the century, Matt. <laughs> it's true he's got rooms of it like how does that even happen like how long have you been collecting since the day i turned 21 i went to the classics <laughs> at a good full air force base and filled the cart up with the cheapest crap i could get of every kind of uh liquor there was and i still have some of those bottles because they're that shitty <laughs> <laughs> and now they're ancient, right? So they're yeah, like, they're, they're held. They're, they're valuable. Yeah, they're vintage. I mean, there's still, I think, a rum down in there. 
It's huh? a military special. Some, and it took me, I think, 12 years to finish off the military special scotch because it was just god awful. <laughs> but yeah, although the gin, amazingly enough, it doesn't suck that bad. So that's the one. And vodka, it all smells like crap. So who cares? Right. It's all shit <laughs> so, at that point. Yeah. So it probably doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. So. And then I got Old Crow because Old Crow was cheaper than military special bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> also sucked. So, you know, it's one of those things. So, but yeah, so that's how we kind of got started. How did you guys get started in drinking whiskey? Um, so I just thought that it would sound cool to be able to order a whiskey neat at a bar. <laughs> and <laughs> that's no, no shit. That is really what, how it started. And I, so I just started uh, started with like drinking it with Coke, then then worked it to water, water and, and then, then did ice. less water and then ice and then one ice got, got down to neat. neat. Yeah. And now I really like it. And yeah. And I just started because my husband told me I had to be on his YouTube channel that he was about to start <laughs> and that I had to gag it down. So the rest is history. What's up, guys? Hey, hey how's it going? Very good. How are you? Good. So I guess we're just going over everybody's starting with So Sarah, Sarah, what's your starting journey into whiskey? Um, well, William started before I did with um, some really just bottom bargain bourbon. <laughs> and um, he just kept on trying new things and putting it in my face. And finally, I found one that <laughs> stuck. Uh, I had to get over that burn. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's the part that really... And then he started sticking scotch in my face, and I just, no. Um, but one of them stuck about a year and a half ago, and it's just been since then. I buy just about the majority of what we have, and I surprise him when I get home, and that's that's it. I mean, we just drink. <laughs> drink <whiskey. laughs> same. same, girl, same. I'm right there with you. Although I, d I don't drink whiskey outside of this table. And you don't bring bottles home. And I don't bring bottles home. Oh, uh, I don't allow him to go to the liquor store. I, um, <laughs> I move very quickly to um, high proof bourbon. The higher the proof, the better for me. Oh, so, absolutely. Yeah. And they're, the boys are trying to push the scot on, scotch on me. And are you there yet? Day. day yeah, your your husband's a, a, a peat head, right? Big time peat head. Mm. And uh, not so much for me yet. I can do the unpeated scotches, but mm -hmm. maybe one day. We'll see. Yeah. All right, so Chris, how'd you just get into whiskey? I don't know. I, I always say I started with uh, barrel-aged beers, bourbon barrel-aged beers. Okay. And I love the uh, the extra kick, you know. I mean, it brings it up from what, like four or five percent up to twelve, thirteen percent. It's like, geez, have two of those in your on your ass. But yeah. Um, and then I tried. Uh, I went to a liquor store and I asked, "Hey, give me a good starter whiskey, something to." Because I knew I like bourbon, but I never really drank it that much. And he gave me an Elijah Craig store pick, and it was like so good. It was one of the best whiskeys even to this day that I've had. I wish I'd bought like all of them if I knew, you know. That's an awesome way to start. I mean, damn, you started with the good stuff. Right. Oh, yeah. Crap. Yeah. I know. Horrible I got things. Lucky. But yeah, I mean, I, I can't. Yeah, you're really lucky. You just start mm -hmm. with stuff that would rot your gut out and make you vomit on the sidewalk. That that came later when I started doing the the, the channel and I was like, I guess I better buy some of these bottom shelf things and try them. Gotta review uh, everything, right? Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And actually tonight I grabbed a whole bunch of like bottom shelf stuff. I mean, I, well, Maker's Mark, Jim Beam White, Jack Daniels, Bullet, regular. So I figured I'd torture myself a little bit tonight. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a good place to start. Yeah. That's what you do on Whiskey Wednesday, right? Torture yourself. Yeah. 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 We just yeah. don't use do it live. We let other people do it for us and we just hang out in their chat rooms. <laughs> yep. Exactly. So now we'll do it for them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So anyway, oh. so what's the first thing in your glass tonight, Chris? This this is Maker's Mark. This is Maker's Mark. Okay, just and, the regular uh, one. I hate. I personally hate Maker's Mark. I cannot help it. <laughs> I do. Why are you drinking it? <laughs> right. Well, because like it's got to it's got to go at some point. That's a lot. With a little I, bottle, I but you have a lot in there. To begin with, but um, it's just it just tastes like cough syrup. In a glass, I don't know. I I can't I can't do it. <laughs> but oh, you're doing it. 
I can't do it, but I'm doing it. <laughs> I started with my favorite bottle that I currently have open, and and Chris starts with what he hates, hates and wants to get most. rid of. <laughs> I know. I know. It's fine. Whiskey torture, I guess that's a new thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess I'll drink uh, whiskey too. Uh, I do have my fancy wine, but uh, I'm going to do, I do like that. So somebody on the discord was talking about Isaac Bowman tonight mm -hmm. and everybody said they hated the port barrel. I like it. This is I, the first that do it. I like that bottle. I you do like it? Yeah. I think it's pretty good. So I almost pulled that one out tonight. I'm going to, I'm going to throw that one out for a little bit. Just a little bit, Bobby. Of it. I think it was you. You were talking about distribution on that body. You were asking about it, and yeah, I, I've only seen it like a couple times up here at all. Yeah, I I see it all the time. Um, it's I wouldn't I wouldn't say like it's not always on the shelf, but I see it probably weekly. I've seen really? it several times here too. Yeah, mm. yeah. So Andy asks us a question: What has been the most anticipated whiskey? Not the best or worst, the one you couldn't wait get your hands on. Oh, mm. that's a good question. Ooh, yeah. I think for us, without knowing any better so far, we were stupidly excited about the Angel's Envy because that was right when our chain channel started. And we were mm. like, we got to go be the first ones to get this. We're going to drive yeah. down to Angel's Envy and we're going to get the bottle and we're going to have a million subscribers after it happens. <laughs> and we went down there and we spent 200 fucking dollars on this bottle and it took <laughs> <a> shit. <laughs> and then... We did not get 2 million subscribers after doing it. I mean, we were literally doing the channel for two weeks at this point. So, right. you know, you're high, you don't know how it's going to be, but you think this is going to be it guys. This is our viral video. Nobody gave a <laughs> shit. So <laughs> fine. And, and it's tasted like shit, but we've been able to give out a plethora of samples of it. Now that we have this 200 bottle. It's fine. So that was our most excited for so far, I think, but it was false excitedness. We were let down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I could see that be disappointing. It's it's a fine whiskey. It's just it's nothing special. I know yeah. here it's out the damn thing's allocated now. You can't even find it. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Before yeah. it's it's it was nobody everywhere. on the shelf. What do you guys not get in Texas and in Michigan? Like what do you wish you um, like you never see? Um in either state because we're in Kentucky, so we're spoiled we i mean we never see if you f see f get a bottle of weller at all any of them it's like unheard of like weller might show up two or three times a year and places will get one or two bottles like that's the special reserve I, i've never seen a special reserve i've seen weller 107 before special reserve up oh, here really? they have like hundreds of the bottles by the case here i know reserve. they're in texas i hear but none of the others no, the other ones the you other can ones get occasionally, but they're you know pretty rare. <laughs> See, we don't we don't get those in Kentucky, but but in Ohio, Bobby can go every Wednesday and pick up a bottle of. I, I can get the antique in the uh, in the special, special reserve. reserve. I, I never see the twelve. Right. Yeah, that's crazy. It's just it amazes me what distribution is. It's just it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's luckily. Um, I like to get phone calls. That's that's a good time to have with a uh, Weller Twelve. Plus, yeah. the great thing about the with one bottle is one bottle was seven fifty and one one seven five, which I really like. That that's two separate bottles as far as they're concerned. So you mm -hmm. get one each. It's a good deal. Right. So, but yeah, as far as bottles that you know was really wanted to get, I, I think the first one I really ever wanted to get was uh, probably George T. Stag, and that's. Mm -hmm. I got that a couple of years ago the first time that and it lived up to everything it should be, especially at rate for you know the retail at hundred bucks. It was just mind blowing good. Look oh, William finally showed oh, up. Harris got a friend. <laughs> There's the creepy guy who shows up right and says, <laughs> <laughs> you know. It's a battle of beards <laughs> tonight, I feel like. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh last time when we were on the the dummies back in, I guess it was that in January, uh Barton Scott says, you know, he uh, they make uh, bacon for our events. Mm -hmm. We think he strains the bacon through his beard for everybody, so everybody gets a little piece of that beard. <laughs> <laughs> I feel that it's important. I really do. It, it adds flavor and complexity that just missing otherwise in bacon. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, you know, it's it's a fun time. So, William, what's your bottle you were most hoping to get that first your first one? The bottle that I was like most looking forward to actually purchasing and getting 
what you're saying? Yeah. Logaboo and Distill Select was like my crown jewel that I was really excited about actually purchasing a bottle of. It's a great choice. Yeah, that was that was I think my first just whiskey love. Just truly really mm. fell in love with. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Good. Have you have, have Chris or Bob? You guys had that one, the twelve year. Uh, I the which one did you say? The twelve year or the distiller select? The distiller select, the sixteen year distiller select. I, I've not had that one. Mm -mm. Have you have you had the twelve at all? The cast strength twelve. I I've ha I've tried it. Yes. We don't have it. Are we did I try yeah, it? The cast twelve yeah. and the cast eight are both really yummy. Yeah, that that will hurt you. I I don't think Sam should drink the. The cash drink. Well, <laughs> Thanks I for looking out for me. That means it's he's going here. Drink, so. it, it's it's your friend, the dentist chair, the burning dentist chair. <laughs> the burning dentist chair. Steroids? Or is it the Satan's dick on fire with Viagra? <laughs> that, no, that's was Octomore. that was Octomore. Yeah. That was Octomore. Right. So, uh, get him confused. It's hard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had a sample of the. Uh, 12 year cast strength sent to me, but I haven't haven't reviewed it yet or tried it yet. But I, I just tried the Logable in 16, just the normal one. And I was actually really impressed with it. I I wasn't sure how I'd like it because I've heard kind of mixed things on it, but I actually really, really liked it. Definitely a different kind He's of PDS. Things than, about like Ardbeg, I was expecting. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So uh Captain, which is John in the uh chat, his favorite was the Black Art 5.1. Yeah, that's yeah. amazing stuff. Have yeah. anybody had that one at all? I know William has before, but mm -hmm. not the rest of you guys have or not. No. Is that a scotch? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's 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 Brucolati scotch. It's uh, the five point one's from ninety two, and it's unpeated though, but it's twenty three years old and it's phenomenal. Our scotch knowledge is like at a zero, like maybe even a negative two. So. <laughs> You really have to talk it through like we're five years old because oh, we don't cool. know shit other than like the basic oh. Isla bullshit that he makes me drink. Other than that, oh, that's a pretty, <laughs> that's a pretty box. Oh, that's this is another one of those Isla bullshit. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> Sorry. I have a bad mouth. This is another one of those Isla bullshit. Isaac Bowman's delicious. Yeah. Uh, just don't like that one. It's got a funky <laughs> finish on it. Not a fan of that. Isaac. I like the regular Isaac Bowman, the single barrel and the the small batch, but that port one, it's been open for a while and it's just bizarre. See, I just like stuff that tastes weird. I think <laughs> and I like. Remember, I'm drinking Franzia, like willingly. So yeah, I feel like finishing finishing whiskey can go either way. You really have to be careful. It's a fine line, I think. I think with Scotch it works really well. Yeah, with bourbons, I find it. Not as much. Occasionally, you'll find one that is decent, but so the mass majority of header finished bourbons are just weird experiments. Well, I think I think a lot of it's too is bourbon is so sweet naturally as it is, and then you're finishing it in more sweetness that can really right. It just overpowers it. Yeah, it can. It can. You got to be careful with it. I think. Yeah, kind of like less now, is more. <laughs> rye's though, I find can be pretty excellent with a wine finish on them. Because it, they take that spiciness and the sweetness, and they kind of counterbalance each other, and those actually end up being pretty good. Mm. Like I hate the Knob Creek, but maple finished bourbon. But then I've had <laughs> some of the uh, like. There's one here called a Yellow Rose, and then Hudson also makes a maple finished rye, and they're both fantastic. Hmm. Interesting. So, I don't think I've had any finished. Well, I'm trying to think finished rye. Oh, Hudson just... makes a point. There is the 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 Bellmead finished bourbons. He is right. Those are actually good. Mm, That's a good mm -hmm. point. Because strength right here. It's one of my next ones. I'm gonna that one's better though. Dive into. But uh barrel, the dovetail. That's a good finished bourbon. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's dovetail is good. Four different things, I think, the dovetail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've got rum, port, uh, and cab. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, another, there is uh, the bourbon I do like that is finished with is actually with the spire from Oak and Eden. That oh, is phenomenal. It's actually I got it sitting here. Right, I got it sitting actually up here. Grab it. <laughs> yeah, we I'm amazed you can find any whiskey in that place, Matt. That's incredible. The sad part is, is he knows exactly where everything is. Yeah, I know that. That's crazy. <laughs> crazy. I've seen this action and it's scary. Yeah, because this yeah, this one is the uh, Oak and Eden. 
uh, cab soak spire. This thing is mm. phenomenal. Got the cab and the toasted oak. Mm. Both are pretty good. They look really dark. Yeah. It's super It's dark. that spire. Mm hmm. Yeah. They're good. Yeah, you You've also got the, do you have the rum one yet? I do have the rum one. Yeah. It is in the corner. All right. I'm it's still in there. Ah, Harbinger. Mm -hmm. oh, it's true. Heart, you know, um, Icarus, now granted, it's a corn whiskey, which is, starts out as Uberus. That one's finished in port and peat casks. So mm. this is a fantastic one. Mm. And then another rye that's good is the Sagamore um, port finished rye. Mm -hmm. That one is also fantastic. But that one I find you have to let it sit open for about a day or two, and then it opens up awesome. We have a Sagamore down here. So we're gonna... Not not the not that one. I Sorry, just have, I just have the cast strength down there. Ah. Always a good one. The mm -hmm. guy that um, does Sagamore is one of my sister's neighbors. <laughs> yeah, that sounds She's terrible. In Baltimore. Would <laughs> <laughs> be like knock on his door. Can I have free whiskey? I know, right? Like, can I have free? Yeah, yeah and and yeah. he also owns Under yeah. Armour. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Maybe some free athletic wear too. Yes. <laughs> <Right>. Yeah. <laughs> he, ain't he, does, he does whiskey in his spare time. Right. That's like <laughs> yeah. his hobby. Like his fun, his like, you know, toy. Yeah, you know, who doesn't want to start a multi million dollar business and have, I forget how many ridiculous number of thousands of barrels they got from MG, MGP that are aging right now? Probably yeah. a shit ton. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, when you charge $40 for compression shorts, <laughs> <laughs> do whatever you want and make your own whiskey. Good point. <laughs> Yeah, because I guess they got, they're laid down some of their own juice, but the stuff that that's on the shelf now is all MGP juice. But yeah, because that's what our our actually do, our store pick is going to be from them uh, at Mirage here, which is near us. But yeah, we're getting a 110 proof uh, Sagamore pick. It's a six year old, and I'm, we wow. tried I think five different barrels we chose from and this one, and it's just <clears throat> amazing. I'm so I'm really excited to be our first store pick to do as a channel. And for our club, and so it would be our our sticker will be on it. So I'm, it's gonna be really neat. Wow, that's awesome. You guys are like fancy pants, <laughs> shit. Yeah, really. No, we're just gonna go do a store pick and stuff like it. So be well, cool. it helps to know some people that work right. So. Yeah, Matt knows a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I do tend to have a, a few friends in the industry. So we because we do events here too for our club, which is a totally separate entity um, that we do. Oh, once every month or two, and that's a blast. So we, we'll have another one coming up in a couple of months with uh, – it's going to have Kregelicki, Altmore, and Aberfeldy. They are, the rep's going to come in. She's going to drive up from Austin, and then the following month, we're going to help out with Old Pulteney and uh, Seth Ridgeway to come down here from New York to do that. Yeah. We're going to stream that over in the Scotch Test Dummies. So that's going to be a blast. That's going to be awesome. Oh, yeah. So that's the cool. kind of crazy crap that goes on around here along with <laughs> yeah. the ridiculous oh, collection. Sometimes I could like I think I can swim in it. It's it's pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good problem to have. Really yeah, good that is a good exactly. That is a good problem to have. Well, it's kind of as a kid, we went to Germany as like I saw all those giant old beer vats, and I'm like, just let me swim in it. I will promise I'll be good. <laughs> I would literally <laughs> swim in a beer vat and drink all of it. Exactly. It's like and live to tell the tale. Forever. Mm -hmm. That sounds fantastic. Plus, you'll probably smell good, at least for a while, till you dry, <laughs> then probably smell horrible. Right, then you stink. Then you smell <laughs> like a frat house. Yeah, the you got the beer party. sweats. The beer sweats? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, except for it's every pore of your entire body is soaking out beer. Yeah. <laughs> there could be but, worse things to smell like. I don't know. Oh, Vito's in I here. I don't know about that. So Vito's in the chat, so... Well, Vito, you guys didn't go live, so we decided to <laughs> hang out in your place as a placeholder. For, uh, it's exactly, he's the whiskey pixie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was looking for some live to happen tonight, and the only one that was live is Party Source at eight. And uh, I didn't even know they had a channel. But so they do. Partners. Party Source has a channel. Joe runs it. J O J. I call him Joe, but it's J O. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I think they're live every Wednesday at eight. Um, mm. They do rent. They do. They do whiskey Wednesday, but then they throw in. They like, do whiskey Wednesday, but they don't talk about whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> what do they talk about? Any like anything? Like, like he just next thing you know, he's talking about like 
tequila or rum or I, <laughs> cigar that he saw in somebody's <laughs> hand the other day. Like it's, he, he goes yeah. a little, uh, it's random little shit. Little, yeah. Totally random shit. But I guess yeah. whatever works. I mean, I guess if people want to come buy tequila. That works too. Whatever. Exactly. Works, right? mm-hmm. if you've ever been to the party source. It is. They have everything. They have everything. And then some and shit. You don't even care about. You can buy it. <laughs> like they have a whole yeah. craft section. Like if you want like a flower arrangement, you can get that. Oh, mm-hmm. oh, it's huge. Yeah. And random. So it's like the size of like a Sam's club, something like that. Yes. That would be a good Probably, comparison. Yeah. I would say a Sam's mm-hmm. club. It's yeah. a huge liquor store. They say it's one of the largest. I didn't know that. And honestly, I've been to liquor barn in Lexington and I would say, I thought liquor barn was bigger and that's huge. But everybody says that party source is even bigger than liquor barn, mm. but I've been to both. They're pretty comparable in sizes. Oh, we got Josh from Cast Strength in here too. Say, hey, we got two of the three from Cast Strength. That's pretty good. Go Watch find Brad. Out. We're living our best life with all these fancy people. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Twenty nine. Uh, Are you uh, growing facial hair? Um, <laughs> I hmm? wanted to ask Chris from Bourbon Saint if he is growing a beard. <laughs> yeah, right now I am. Looks good. When it gets to the point where it's itchy, I just start. I shave it, but. You just got to power through it. It goes away. I know. I know. <laughs> it gets so dirty. Ugh. Yeah, my wife says no facial hair. I'm not allowed. I'm not letting him cut it, so. <laughs> you <don't laughs> think it just has to get to that us. length is the problem. I'll get you know, to that like point. He's 16. <laughs> uh, you know, looking like a cradle robber is not a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> Depends on who you ask. I was drinking the whiskey like that. that. I've moved on to blade and bow. Switched up a little. There you go. Yeah, Mark Goins says you should it. rub some whiskey on it, Chris. It'll stop itching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seems like it's a No, that's not true. It's about two to three weeks for the itching period. It is what it is. It's all that hair. Thins out or uh, smooths out at the end. Yeah, it's pretty itchy. Yeah. yeah. What do you, I don't know. Good Ooh. Nice. So. And here comes the scotch. <laughs> it's scotch time. So does that so take like a. Like a, one, a uh, this is an okay, island fire. scotch. Yeah, it's not an isla, but it's an island scotch uh, off the Isle of Mull. This is a cast strength uh, Lasseg. Lechig, Lechig. I don't know. I've heard it about five different ways. Yeah, it's Ask Daniel. He pronounces all sorts of different ways. He <laughs> pronounces it like five, five or six different, six different ways. Yeah. So. Yeah, I think it's uh, you know at that point, just ask Roy for the real pronunciation. The rest of us will just right. just screw, yeah. screw it up. Sure I can sit and that. listen to Roy pronounce different scotches that I don't give a shit about for hours and <laughs> yeah. never get bored of yeah. it and just let. We've got two you know. videos completely of like thirty different scotches and how to yeah. pronounce them properly. That's mm-hmm. like we've watched it multiple times to try and <laughs> act like we know what we're talking about and we don't. And some of them like <laughs> I don't know what the hell Roy he just said, but sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But some of them's like, yeah, I've been saying all these words completely wrong for years. It's like, oh, well, not that else mm-hmm. anymore. Lynn Morin, what? <laughs> It'd be even funnier if he put it out and he purposely said him wrong because yeah. we would all believe him. Yeah, we don't <laughs> have anything. But, yeah, we do American pronunciations of Scotch. Yes. Yeah. So you're really trolling. Yeah. I think a fun video to see. That's what we should do. How can hey, I, was gonna say, you make that I like that idea. You guys should totally do that. Just yeah. go to the liquor store and just film random scotches and oh my how they think they're pronounced as. We might do that. It's actually a good I idea. I mean, y'all can do it too, but we might do it. <laughs> We're in. We don't even have Kentucky accents, but I'll Oops. make one. No, but I got family that does. You do, yeah, it's true. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, awesome. True. Aren't you like related to the Hatfields and the McCoys, like deep down, or is that your step family? Step family. Step family. Yeah. <laughs> Suppose they have a whiskey, but I've never seen it. Have you guys tried that whiskey at all? The Hatfield McCoys whiskey? No. Uh uh-uh. uh. There was a big article about it, like maybe a year or two about it on the whiskey wash that was really interesting. And then in the uh, comments, I guess the family started bitching at each other and it was hilarious. <laughs> oh, <that would> be <laughs> awesome. like, You're not the real one. 
We're the real ones. <laughs> like, oh, you're like, no, it's just other whiskey. That's the real one we make. I'm like, what you got down there? It's just funny as hell. So I just poured the uh, Iron Rook Icar Icarus because it's awesome. <laughs> yeah, they just released this at the distillery a couple weekends ago. Unfortunately, we were on our way up to Oklahoma, so we just waved as we went by. But mm. still got to see it on the day it was released. On me. I just I just uh, took my first sip of scotch, and as soon as I started talking and, and breathing, her reaction was <laughs> quite uh, normal, actually. Band-Aids. <laughs> Always band aids band Nah, yeah. it's not band-aids. It's deliciousness. If you like band-aids. <laughs> and like, why oh. is it that like you drink that and it's like, man, it tastes like band-aids and like cigarette yeah. ash, and damn, that's good. No, not does not fucking taste good. <laughs> Nothing about that is good. So I just don't my taste buds tell me to fuck off if that was what I tasted. That was like, my first was like, damn, this is good. Mine yeah. did too first. Um, it actually took me about done before I finally went and actually found it interesting. The first time I went to it, I was not a fan at all. Mm. Yeah, and I just like for me, I just jumped right into Pete and I loved it. But a lot of people can't, you know, m majority of people can't do this. I talked about this with Josh, uh, Josh Galladay and Vito when we did the, our live together, and it's like it's like an 80. Like an 80 20, like only 20% of people can jump into Pete, you know, if, they, if they're if they just normal scotch drinkers or, you know, everyday scotch drinkers, but 80% have to have to really work or just don't like it at all, I feel like. Oh, I would actually say even less than that. I'd probably say 10%. Really? I really stand it from yeah. now yeah. than I could a year and a half ago, but it's still just not for me yet. It's okay. Yeah. We're going to make her drink all on our channel anyway. She doesn't have a choice. Have. Just wait for that video. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you poor thing. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was torture. They made me do it twice. This That's one here. Of, uh, watch my log of on 16 it. video. Apparently the entire world it's, has too. It's pretty terrible. Hard bag. <laughs> yeah, we did hard bag twice because William kind of yeah. like, rude up and didn't put the damn camera in focus. focus. <laughs> oh, man. That's what happens when you film like five or six at a time. <laughs> you did Pete the first time, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I had a Lafroy 10 was the first peated anything I ever tried, and I instantly fell in love. Mm -hmm. yeah, my first love was lo was the uh, Lafroy 10. I was like, I, was, I tried like Glyphic, Glyphic. I'm like, eh, this is okay, whatever. And then my dad brought home the uh, Lafroy 10. I'm like, the hell is this? Where's this been my whole life? This is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then ever since, it's just been more and more peat. Mm -hmm. But the good news is I still, I guess the fun thing about it is if you like Pete, you can learn to love the space sides and all the unpeated stuff as well and get their appreciation for it, which is kind of neat to do. Because once you get past the Pete, there's so many cool flavors behind it, mm -hmm. which yeah. is, uh, you know, it takes time. Most people, the funny thing too is for my wife is we went to the Whiskey Vault last year to do a, a private tasting and we didn't know what she liked, and she ended up loving uh, peated scotch. She can't stand bourbon or rye, but loves peated scotch. So that's wow. what she drinks around here. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> well, and she likes the ridiculous peated stuff, too. She's like, no, 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 give me the Optimore, please. Right? Yeah, Optimore <laughs> for by far her favorite scotch. Is Optimore. Oh, no, it's over there. Over there, the Optimore. <laughs> oh, yeah, the, I'll, I'll grab it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why isn't she on here, too? You guys should have couples night, like where everybody's on. Mm hmm. I know. She's at work. She'll be home in a little bit. I can see if she wants to join us. I, I mean, have no idea if she wants to or not. I'm always looking for more ladies. So, <laughs> I mean, the bourbon I've never been on the channel before, bro, but kinda. I can see if she wants to get on. I'm she probably probably no, yeah. but. I do too. But, uh, yeah, so this is the Octomore 8.3, oh, 309 PPM, yeah. the world's most heavily peated yeah. scotch. <gasps> my worst nightmare. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Look it's at William. He's work. like a kid in a candy store. He's like, yay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll send some to Bobby. I will not torture you with this. Because that's just mean. Yeah, you can open this thing and smell it downstairs. Nope. Awesome. I can no, smell it here. The lid on. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds terrible. I really like the look of that bottle, though, too, actually. 
Yeah, yeah it's kind of cool because like uh, this one's the clear one. Let's see here. The white one's pretty neat too. Man. I like that. Oh no, I like that frosted glass. I think that looks really, really yeah. neat. Another one. Let's see, because it's funny because different like the eight point the point threes are the clear. The point Matt, Matt just one out all his Octomores every single release. Seriously, he's from all Octomore. within reach. Is this black mat on them? So one yeah, of the ways to tell the difference is which ones they are. Yep. But either way, they're all good. There's no such thing as a bad Octomore. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so I will kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Octomores, it's just wonderful. There's lots of great peated scotches. I haven't found what I don't like yet. Uh, oh yes, you don't like any of them. <laughs> it's that makes it easy for you. I'm better than I was. True, you you did suffer through two R bags, which I was pretty proud of you for doing. No. And you didn't vomit, so that was a plus. <laughs> <laughs> Huge step. Yeah, you're not kidding. Yeah, it's funny. You'll find people that, you know, I've got a friend, and he. I told him, in a year, you'll love this Peter Scott because he started, I think we started with, uh, he went, I guess, to the distillery at Witherspoon, and he, he kind of liked the, the bourbon there. So I so said, let's try some other stuff. He came over, and we got some bourbon, we got him into scotch, and we got him into space size, so he's pretty good. I said, so I gave him some Bunahaven, then I gave him the heavily peated Bunahavens, the special releases. Mm. Like, oh, God, what is this? It, Give it a year, you'll love this crap. And now he's drinking Octomore and freaking Spring 44 and just ridiculously heavily peated stuff. He's like, that's so good. <laughs> we'll get you there. Yep. Sam, it is accomplishable. All right. Okay. In a year, you may love it. We'll see. It'll be a great go. journey for sure. Mm -hmm. So what other things do you hate, Sam, that you've tried so far? Um... All, mm, all Isla. Anything with Pete in it. She, she does. She hates Pete. That's I hate been the Pete. big. She's. She hated everything when we started. And I did really hate the because um, somebody brought it up today. I really hated the Jameson IPA. I don't like IPA beer. I love beer. I love all beers, and I really except IPA. Except IPA. I don't yeah, like I IPA, IPA beer, beer. and so the Jameson IPA. Could fuck off. Uh, and then, you're not a big fan of Rise either. I'm not a big fan of Rise. I'll deal with it. If I had any that I liked. Hmm. Even now, the last Rise we, we video would, we put there, like, Sam's grumpy. We would need I'm, to, like, I just don't think I like the Rise. We would need to go <laughs> back because a lot of them that, yeah. we try, that I thought you would like, you we tried early on when you hated yeah. everything. Yeah. So. We need to re-review some, some Rise. Mm -hmm. But I yeah. love, I really do like Irish whiskey. I really, I like Japanese. Um, and most bourbons most now. Most bourbons now, yeah, I can hang. I'm still not big on super duper strong, but I'm I can not, tolerate not it. Drink. So, yeah. I, that's yeah. pretty, for three months, it's pretty impressive, actually, considering yeah. how far you come in three months. I mean, yeah. and I used to be mad at him because he made me drink everything neat. But now it's kind of like a blessing in disguise because I feel like I like got there a lot faster than I would have if he had let me oh. drink it with Coke and ice and water and all the things that are glorious. But and and, and, and the faces she made along the way were, were, yeah, were pretty, was, pretty right. entertaining. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I your faces are definitely entertaining. There's no doubt about that. And those were all real. I did not, if he thought I was faking it, he wouldn't put it out there. Right. He was like, you're trying too hard. There's actually videos he's put out because he's or not put out because he's like, you're trying too hard. <laughs> you cut too much. <laughs> Fuck you, Bobby. <laughs> Suck it. That's what I tell him, but it doesn't work all the time. It's the way it goes. Bobby, is there anything you don't like or you like all whiskeys? I um I think I like all whiskeys, honestly. <laughs> uh <clears throat> you're all some intro video where where uh you know you guys are going through and you know I I like peated scotch and I like high proof bourbons and then I like everything that that's that's kind of I'm I'm team Matt on that <laughs> I like yeah everything there's a few things I don't like I can yeah. finally find some redeeming quality in most whiskeys except for the standard joke is how much I hate TX blended 
Our TX blended is fine. TX oh, bourbon yeah. is the worst fucking mm. thing I've ever tasted. <laughs> it's absolutely awful. It, it's like, oh, how do you feel about oh, okay. the pee? It's like somebody shit in a boot and then <laughs> made you drink it. It's horrible. <laughs> and I'm sure they really love that being like 20 minutes from here, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe this is one of the less shitty product. Yeah. Because the stuff that's decent from them is they're blended, and it, you know it's a freaking source product. I mean, they just blend a bunch of crap they get barrels from. And it tastes good. It tastes like vanilla ice cream, which is <laughs> fine, but you know, whatever makes you happy. But yeah, their bourbon is a complete shit show. <laughs> that's too bad. Hey, don't hold back, Matt. <laughs> yeah, that I don't like. Oh, an Uncle Nearest. It's funny. That one has great bottles and then horrible bottles. There's no consistency whatsoever from that brand. Mm. And I've tasted two really good ones and two that, yeah, basically tested like the bur the TX bourbon. Horrible. They should be ashamed of themselves for putting that crap out, too. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Kentucky Deluxe is better. It's freaking, even though it's absolutely terrible stuff, I'd rather drink that. I've what seen a couple bottles of. Sorry, I was going to say, I've seen a couple bottles of Uncle Nearest around here, actually, but it's few and far between. Yeah, since you don't know what the hell you're getting, it's really hard to buy them. It's like, yeah. we figured, oh, maybe there was something wrong with it. Maybe it'll open up. No, nope, it still sucks six months later. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with it. I'm just like, leave it on the bar and at a, when we have an event say, someone needs to drink this crap. So I got rid of the TX bourbon. I left it at a party and someone put a bunch of Coke in a drink. The fu either, okay, so my mom was here one time and she drinks a lot of bourbon and Cokes. And she's like, what the hell? Why did you ruin my Coke? This, this is the worst <laughs> I'll ever. tell you what you do is you pour it in an empty Weller 12 and leave it sitting out and just see what oh, happens. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> oh, I think your Weller well, went yeah. bad. I really like this plan. This sounds like fucking you're a bad business. Because <laughs> then you'll have people that like, you, you'll find out who fakes it. Because they'll be like, right. oh, I love this Weller 12. This is so <laughs> good. Oh my gosh, it's better than any Weller I've ever had. Yep. <laughs> It's supposed to be a special release. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Store pick. Oh, that's too funny. <laughs> Store pick. <laughs> Store pick. Always blame it on the store pick if you don't know. So oh, yeah. that leads you a, hate. Good, a good question too about Weller 12s. So like Weller 12 is always the one that's like ridiculous secondary price, right? Mm. Oh, but yeah. I don't even like it. Like I mean, I, I shouldn't say I don't like it. I like it, but I don't like it near as much as even the 107. I think the 107 is way better personally. I agree. What did I like? You like the twelve. I did like the twelve. I'm just not. Well, twelve is also ninety proof, though. You know. It's so. rounder. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 but. rounder. I agree with that. I like them both, but I'd lean towards the one hundred and seven as far as the proof goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, Donald says that Canadian mist is worse than anything he's ever that we ever <laughs> have in America. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't know. He hasn't had TX bourbon. It's probably worse. I mean, Canadian Mist is absolute garbage, though. That's <laughs> oh, I really sure. appreciated your video on that. That was hilarious. Yeah. Trying all your crappy Canadian whiskeys. I was like, give him a good <laughs> one. That was so Flat. funny. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah. No, Black yeah, I did a live stream. I, I did a Canadian live stream with um, the Whiskey Explorer, and um, it was. We were pretty much, pretty much drinking cheap Canadian whiskey, so it wasn't all that that interesting or impressive, I guess. But we did try Lot 40 cast drink, which was really good. I love that. Right, that's good. Did you try Black Velvet on that stream? I don't remember. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> oh, it's worse than Canadian Mist. See? That's I don't something know. you definitely need to try in your life. I did have Canadian oh, Mist. I blame Bill for that because Bill's like, oh, it's not that bad. So I went and bought a – thank God I paid, you know, a dollar for the freaking mini. That yeah. stuff is god awful. <laughs> yeah, and it sells crazy amounts of it because it's cheap yep. crap and it's just horrible stuff. Right. It's like, oh god, yep. and, th and then they make an eight-year freaking reserve. It's barely better. Like, <laughs> how do you put this out as the premium product of this? <laughs> Why? How do you have to put the product out there? It's just, it's just terrible <laughs> stuff. But you know. So, Chris, what have you found that you hate besides Canadian Mist? Oh, man. Hate. It's a strong word. It is. It is. I mean, I, I'm I'm honestly not too picky. Um, like, Maker's Mark is, is the one thing I can say I just cannot. <laughs> I, I don't know why. It's just not. It's just always, like, 
it goes against me. It fights me, fights me too much. It just tastes like rubbing alcohol with <laughs> cherry flavored candy, like put in like a cherry Jolly Ranch. You're putting the bottle oh. at the bottom of the glass. Okay, you don't like that at all. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just got a. I mean, I, I've only had like this one bottle really of it, so. Maybe I'll give it another chance, a different bottle or something. But, you know, I, I had the cast strength, though. The cast strength is good. Yeah, cast strength's really good. That's the first time we ever had that was actually my grandfather's funeral because he loved uh, Wild Turkey 101 and Maker's Mark were basically the two things he drank all the time. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we got the cast strength came out about that time at his funeral, so we drank it at his casket with him. So, mm -hmm. it's always got, so I've actually got the bottle on my bar, so it's always a special bottle to me is the wow, Maker's Mark cool. cast strength. And Chris, you're probably not going to have any luck switching to uh, or, or on another bottle because that's that's Maker's Mark's thing is with rotating the barrels and everything is is everything is pretty much the same. Mm -hmm. I know it's all about consistency. I know. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm prop. Yeah. I, mean, it's, I think the problem is I don't like fake cherry flavored candy or anything. So I think like just just cherry candy in general, like cherry licorice, cherry like cherry Jolly Ranch, that kind of stuff. That's just that ch fake cherry candy flavor. Just not like I don't like it. So I think that's why. I think we lost somebody. Yeah, they that does. Yeah, William and Sarah dropped out. They said they might have to come back because they were dropping off and we weren't getting any good sound quality. They were, yeah, they were kind of hard to hear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's okay. So okay, I'll yell at them later. Get a better oh. fucking equipment. Yeah, <laughs> I'll give them some real shit. Richie did oh, ask. I do want to know more about his beard. Like, how long has he been growing it? Like, <laughs> what what kind of like like upkeep is there with it? Like, I I just find beards fascinating because of this. <laughs> and I'm just I can tell. I, I mean, and and he's obviously got a way better beard than oh, I do. Oh, he's back. So let's talk about I, it. Like uh, I, uh, I, I, I put oil in it every day, and I brush it. So I, I I'm wow. sure he's the same way. I do. I have to brush it multiple times a day. I the blow dryer, oil. the coconut oil, the brushing. He does it more than my. I do my hair. I mean, <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> it's a lot of upkeep. It's a lot of upkeep. It is. So how long have you it? This is two years. Uh, this bottom part is two years. Two years. Wow. Bobby's on I'm, feeling, Bobby. I'm feeling a little insufficient right now. You, well, you should. <laughs> You're <laughs> inferior to that. Honestly, I think this is about where I'm going to stop, though, because it doesn't seem to be getting any longer than this. Uh, oh. This has been about the same length for about six to nine months now. Mm. Uh, it really hasn't gotten any longer than this. Hmm. We'll just have to, like, decorate it and stuff. Dreams you know? of the Gandalf. Yeah, my dreams of being Gandalf, and Gandalf are, are dying. <laughs> Yeah, so at Christmas time, Bobby put not this year, but last year because he shaved it since then. He put ornaments in his beard yes. oh and uh, sparkles yeah. for an ugly Christmas butter. Yeah, yeah, I, put, I I mix glitter with uh, beard oil, with beard oil, and and like put a, take it all in there and then hung ornaments in it. Yeah, 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 Christmas no. sweater party. It was a hit. Oh, that's I, awesome. I won the contest. We won the glasses. Actually, won the contest. Wine dice glass. <laughs> well, not Ooh. we. Uh, for the his uh, beard. <laughs> Did you put lights in it too to light it up. No, no, just the, the you know what the glitter was the worst idea in the world because that shit it, it would not come out yeah. for days. It is, it oh. of the craft world. Mm -hmm. I I looked like I had been like at a a, a stripper's yes. uh, in a spit uh, light toy cuckoo <laughs> for a long time longer than you should have been. Longer than I should have been. <laughs> this How long should I spend? Well, <laughs> not that long. <laughs> not long enough to get the, the sprinkles on your beard. <laughs> been there way too. Uh, clearly, it was from the from the, uh, the brass ass you guys are so fond of. Right. Yeah, <laughs> right, right. I, I know. We're always promoting things. <laughs> Go to the brass ass in, in Newport. It's a shit show. You'll love it. <laughs> Yeah, you get you you get your beard with glitter in it. It'd be great. Yes, <laughs> right. Yeah, and right. you get to see ugly boobs and cellulite stretch marks, stretch marks, <laughs> lots of them. <laughs> pass. And C section scars. And C section scars. <laughs> and I have all those things, so I'm not knocking it. Like, but, you, but, you're but not, I'm not a hooker. But you're or not get, getting right. naked. For... I'm not getting naked for money. <laughs> I'm doing insurance fraud, so there's there's a big difference there. So. You know, there's a market for that, though. There's, exactly. a, market. there's a market. 
Well, the girls at the brass ass. The brass are, ass, are, are yeah. Doing it. That's it right there. Yeah, we give them so much money. free marketing. <laughs> People are just going to this place just because you guys talk about it so much. This price place increased their business. I'm sure. I like, know, right? <laughs> and it's gonna be. I feel so bad for these people when they go in and see what it is. And they're like, "What's well, because like we go? I'm not so like so I, I, like we we go to strip clubs. Not a lot, but we've especially not as long as I YouTube, can appreciate a good looking to, female body. I can also appreciate a heinous yeah, female like, body. We, we can go to a nice strip club <laughs> and have a good time. I like yeah. both. We we go to the brass ass and we're like just laughing the whole yeah, time they come up and try to ask for lap dances and i'm like no 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 we're not here for this go find somebody else go find grandpa over there who needs a good boner and talk to him and give him the dance we're not here for that we are here to laugh at you and make fun of your lifestyle and you know get out two drink minimum the last time so here, here you I'm go just... the, the last time i got a lap dance at at this at, at the brass ass the girl like started dancing and she turned around and there was five birth dates tattooed on her lower oh, no. back. And I was like, oh, let me guess, you got five kids. And she's like, how'd you yeah, know? How'd you know? <laughs> Just a guess. Just a guess. So, you know, and I always make fun, make not make fun. I make friends with them in the bathroom somehow. And like there's more to that story. I can't tell right now. But <laughs> Yeah, I should say that for way later. <laughs> yeah, that's for later. That's not in chat talk. But yeah, no. um, all right, I'm gonna yeah. switch to the uh, Kentucky Owl cast strength batch two mm -hmm. eleven year rye. Now, uh, batch one was better, but unfortunately, you can't find anymore. But so batch two will have to work. Yep, I have an unopened bottle that I have not tried yet. It's good, but the problem is like the first one was like 115, and then this mm -hmm. one went to 200 dollars when Stoli bought them. I'm like, thanks a lot, Stoli, for nothing. Yep. That's so, the one bottle that uh secondary is cheaper than retail. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah, because somebody <laughs> actually asked and he's like, Yeah, I'm done because you can take the rest of this home. I'm like, sweet. All right. Press my arm. Still a great whiskey though, but it's just not worth two hundred dollars. Good, yeah. Because tomorrow I'm actually gonna try that confiscated and see how that is. Oh so yeah, I'm hoping it's good, but I don't have a lot of no high hopes for it. But I'm I'm hoping it's at least decent. Yeah, that's another one though. Price, it's just price again. You know. Yeah, because I think that one. What was it? It was like one fifty. I think something like that. Which that's I mean that's got to be really good to be one hundred fifty bucks. I mean, really good. Really good or really good marketing. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, yeah. well, look at, look at like McAllen, which makes great products, but there's no doubt that you are, it's it's a better product, but you are definitely paying for their marketing. Yeah. And the name, paying for the name. And the name, for sure. But you're good, except for the only difference is you're getting, for sure, guaranteed an awesome product every time right. you buy them. I've never been just, the only McAllen I've ever been disappointed in is the gold. It just was, hmm. eh. everything else I've ever had from them is fantastic. McAllen's earned the name, whereas, that, that's a good point too. True. Yeah. Well, plus we're gonna pay for uh, Kentucky Owl Playland. It's like two hundred acres and a fucking pyramid <laughs> and stuff. It's great. <laughs> it's it's like how do you take a brand that has one batch of whiskey and go, hey, we're gonna make Disneyland for adults? It, it, it just I, logically makes no sense. Yeah. But it's Stoli. You know they sell a shitload of vodka. Yeah. True. Hey, hey, bourbon junkies are in here. What's oh, up? Oh, motherfucking yeah. bourbon junkies are in here. Yeah, and they and they said if you're let down the whiskey and batch one or two rye for two hundred, wait until you try the confiscator for one fifty. So there you go. Yep. Great. Just what we <laughs> <laughs> We had it in our. So we were gonna borrow it from our buddy Larry, who owns the bourbon bar, because we ain't buying everything. And then we had to put it. We had to give it back to him because we didn't have time to review it. So yeah. we're like. Go sell that shit, Larry. We'll get it from you later. <laughs> we ran out of time. Did you try it at all or not? Nope. No, he and gave he, he, pissed. he was pissed. He's like, I give it to you guys to review. I don't give a shit if it's on camera or not. You try it and tell me how it is. <laughs> yeah. right. Sorry, because, because but for you know, like like if if he gives us a bottle to borrow, like we're gonna have it for a day or whatever. And that's time that he can't sell it at his bar. So right. I, well, I want to get it back to him as soon as possible. Right. We're right. trying to be like right. Yeah, but then he's like, I don't care if you don't film it. I want to know your opinion of it so I know whether to try and buy more or not. And we're like, 
well, his opinion, not mine, because <laughs> Franzia and Isaac Bowman. But you uh, should combine them and see maybe what you want the Isaac Bowman. Maybe I will oh, combine it. Grab me that Isaac oh, Bowman. Oh gosh, yeah. there you go. <laughs> oh, Franzi <laughs> and Isaac Bowman. A new cocktail right there. It's Make an it up on YouTube. I'm gonna let it air for a minute. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're gonna, go We're gonna give it a minute to um it's gotta open up. It's gotta open. <laughs> Isaac Bowman and Fontia. This is stupid. <laughs> this is a new low for me. <laughs> I'm going to join you. Oh, hey, cheers. Paul, I'll be right back. I feel bad uh, for the 24 people in this live that are watching me drink uh, Isaac uh, Bowman and yeah. Fontia. It's choice to be here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being here. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you, and I'm so sorry. <laughs> we had 30 in the chat at one point, but it is 11:30 now. Yeah. Matt said, "Fuck it, I'm leaving." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's probably going to dig in his whiskey collection. I know, like he's like he's got to find something because he doesn't have much. So. <laughs> yeah. Or his wife got home. Oh yeah, that could be. Maybe he's asking her to see if he wants to jump. If she wants to jump on. Yeah, I saw. I was going to ask my wife, and she's like, I don't know. So I, I was trying to convince her to come on. She must, she'll be on here in a minute. Oh, tell her to come on just for a nice. minute, just to say hi. I love wives. I'm all get, about. Get her something peaty, Matt. Get her something peaty. Break that oh. back out. We want her to come back. She's coming. <laughs> she likes Pete, though. Oh, she, she likes Pete. Then give her something peaty. You want awesome hi, one? <laughs> Say hi. Here, hi, wife. Hello. <laughs> this is my wife, Stephanie. And this hi, is wife, Stephanie. And Bobby and Sam and Corsina Williams, Sarah. Hello. So she, she, her favorite is the Octomore 8.3. So we'll give her some of that. That is awesome. That amazes me. That really amazes me. You can't come on. She's just jumping right in. Yeah. Got to play to win. Yeah. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> <laughs> how is that, Sam? Yeah, how is I don't it? know yet. <laughs> I'm scared <laughs> to try. What do you get on the nose? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Franzia. Franzia. A lot Franzia. of Franzia with a hint of. It's probably an I improvement think. to Franzia, though. Mm -hmm. Is it better or worse than Pete? I'll let you know in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still deciding. Yeah. Oh. It's really strong. It's really strong. Because <laughs> what's what's the proof in the Isaac Bowman? What in like ninety or something like that? Forty-six percent. Uh, Ninety-two. 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 So you make it a lot stronger then. I did Probably make it. Good. All right, I'm going for it. Good. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but I didn't put much in there. No, that's because you like whiskey now. I know. That's, that's true. Actually, yeah, it's pretty good. No. Uh, hold, hold on. Uh, hold on. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to see if it really is pretty good. It's not that bad. <laughs> it stinks. It smells like shit. It doesn't smell good. It doesn't smell good. But this isn't that bad. Right? <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not terrible. <laughs> but did it improve from what it started at, though? Yes. It's better than it's, regular Franzia. It's yes. <laughs> new, the new craze would be Franzia and, Franzia? and Bourbon. Yep. Guys, yes. I got the new concoction. It's like a barrel aged Franzia. Franzia. That's what it is. Isaac Bowman. <laughs> there, you're welcome. But it's got to be the port finish. It's got to be the port finish. It's got to yeah. be the port finish. Ooh, exactly. Yeah. It's got to be the port finish. It would just be uncivilized to do it differently. Right. You can't do it any other way. Yeah, but, at least it's not that black box whiskey that Scott and Bark liked so much on their review, where they dump it all over the table. <laughs> <laughs> we thought about reviewing that a couple of times, but yeah, yeah. Never got there. I saw the review. I'm like, I don't, I don't ever need yeah, I thought about it. I would have in a heartbeat. I don't care. I think it'd be good for your guys' channel because you, you and your box wine all the time. You know, I, I know. Like good. True. We could. We have some um, off the wall stuff coming. Mm-hmm. Uh, Things that were that are uh I don't know if I, I can't tell yet. Okay. We have some stuff in the works that are more than reviews that are 
ridiculous. Well, Are they YouTube know. legal? Is the question. Yeah, it's legal. Huh? We're always legal. <laughs> Later. Hi, Stephanie. Good to see you. Hi. She's just going to enjoy the whiskey and then probably mm -hmm. go hang out in the media <laughs> yeah. room or something. She just got home. It's understandable. It's good to see you, though. <laughs> She's like, okay. <laughs> I'm going to go She's now. She's like, and I'm done. <laughs> I'm going to take her whiskey and leave. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I'll just finish this here and enjoy myself by myself in the other room with one of these crazy <laughs> people. <laughs> so, Texas Cruz, have you guys always been friends or how did no, you No, guys... we never met till Austin oh. last uh, August. Even though we've had a connection for 15, 20 years. True. Yeah, it's it's hilarious. His uh, Since I was probably about 10, his sister's been cutting my hair. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's funny. And we both went in to uh, get hair, hair, our hair did before going down to Austin, and we both were talking about the fun trip we were about to take, and she actually made the connection for us. Yeah, it's pretty funny. She's like, hey, my brother likes this channel called The Whiskey Vault. Do you know anything about that? I was like, yeah, we're going to Austin. He's like, he's going to Austin, too. So, you know, yeah. That, so then we ended up uh, chatting in the Patreon, and then we were going to set up a dinner, and, well, dinner never really happened. La Quinta happened instead, <laughs> which was way better than dinner. Yeah, well, <laughs> So we have to find a hotel to stay at in October because yeah, the La Quinta's booked. La Quinta is booked up. We stayed right down the road from La Quinta. We stayed right down the road from La Quinta when we went. Um, I want to say it was an extended stay. It was actually cheaper than La Quinta. It took us a minute to drive home after La Quinta. So oh. that's an option if that's available to you. All right. What was the hotel we stayed at? Give me a minute. I'll figure out the actual name of the All hotel. Right. You That's can cool. even send us a link. It's fine. Or what, yeah. whatever it was. It's not yeah. a rush. But Well, maybe. Maybe it is a rush. Yeah, maybe <laughs> figure it out real fast. <laughs> I, think I think South by Southwest is going on that week as well. Uh, oh, we just got uh, a hotel. Are, yeah, booked up everywhere. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Because yeah, well, yeah. the problem is there's a, um, there's a music festival apparently that weekend too. South by Southwest. Yeah, yeah. So that's a slightly big deal in Austin. Yeah, it is a big deal. I have people from Cincinnati that go to South yeah. by Southwest, so it's a big fucking deal. Yeah. <laughs> Poor John. Weird. I wonder yeah, if they worst. knew that when they were thinking about the weekend or not. See, Steve said there were still rooms at La Quinta. Bobby hmm. checked. So I, I will check because no, I, I no offense, saying, I don't trust I, 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 I checked, I checked the other night. Uh, after our live stream and and when we were talking in Discord for hours and I was drinking the whole time, so there is a chance that I messed something up. Uh, in I'll trying try. To it up. I, I'll try. It was, to it was pretty entertaining. We uh, when you were done, Sam eventually found you. It was hilarious. <laughs> right. So it's what three or three forty or four forty in the morning, and I get up to pee and I hear him falling down, like dropping shit. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? So I go downstairs, and this one can't. His eyes are crossed, and he's like, mm. and I'm like, you need to go to bed. And he's like, okay. And then I hear people, and I'm like, he's still watching fucking YouTube. No, it's his <laughs> phone, and it's you guys talking on it. And I'm like, hello. And they're like, uh, hi. And I'm um? like, it's Sam. <laughs> I've been in bed for four hours. Bobby needed to go to bed. And they're like, we thought we lost him. <laughs> so, and then I couldn't figure out how to like get out of Discord, but I was also like half tipsy too. So <laughs> I tried to like mute everything and then I had to pee. So if you heard me pee, I'm sorry. That wasn't in the plan. <laughs> but I didn't know how to change it. So you guys just got to figure it out at this point. But yeah, oh, Steve says, yeah, he looked right now in this. There's, there's still rooms right now. Okay, cool. Okay, so, Bobby, so I'm, I'm, I'm a, 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 a If there's not space or you want to save some money, the extended stay is, like I said, a minute down the road. Uh, and that's where we stayed when we went down. Awesome. And and there's no bed bed. Bed. Austin Southwest. Yeah. 
Awesome. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Yeah, we'll check both. Yes. And hopefully this time there won't be any broken elevators. <laughs> stairs stairs well, maybe somebody won't bring idea. cases upon oh. cases upon cases down the elevator and try to lay them back up the elevator again. <laughs> hey, the other the other elevator worked fine. We only didn't have that problem. I wasn't about to carry all that shit any other way. No way. It was like there was 40 bottles. It's way too much to be carrying by yourself. It's dangerous too. <laughs> yeah, what if you get mugged? <laughs> oh, there's like 60 other Manevison bastards. If you get mugged, they're about to get their ass kicked. <laughs> that's, that's bad whiskey karma. That was bad whiskey karma. Yeah, bad yeah. things will happen to you. You shouldn't do that when there's a shitload of people around. It's, bad <laughs> things will happen for sure. So yeah. Matt Bailey's asking about the picture that was in the Discord chat of me passed out. I just want to throw it out there. These pictures are not new. That was to great. Me and Bobby. Um, he has been posting pictures of my mouth wide open, me passed out for literally the entire time we've been together, which is over 10 years. See, you can see it right there. So <laughs> there is me, Sam passed out. Yep. <laughs> so good. In our like <laughs> junk lawn, in our junk room with like, I, I sit in a lawn chair. Sometimes I sleep in it. And <laughs> this is our life. <laughs> this is, I've seen those pictures a hundred times. That won't be the last one that any of you guys see. <laughs> this is all for everyone to there, see. There might be one tonight. There based might be on... one tonight. Yeah, based on how I'm right now, and I can barely keep my eyes open, but I'm I'm here. Um, we were all entertained. We thought it was funny as hell. I thought so. Everybody was so worried about our marriage. No, this is like well, Bobby. You're gonna get your ass kicked for this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is our marriage. This man has drawn some crazy shit on my face when I've passed out. So, I mean, I've had dicks coming out of my face that say like, and then says like, you know, like, blah blah blah's baby daddy on my neck and. <laughs> so I've been through it all. It's fine. This is just how we are. It That's true out. love. It's true love, right there. True love. We love each other. We're best friends. <laughs> <laughs> The, yeah. the funniest part of that whole thing for me was just the lawn chair. Like I was not expecting the, yeah. the lawn chair. It just it just made it just got me when he showed that so picture. That, that's our computer room, and and, and it's and a I, junk room. And so I so I sit up at the at the computer screen, and and that's where like I was. It's like an L shaped computer, she, and she pulled mm -hmm. up a she pulled up a lawn, lawn chair, chair to, to, to sit, sit close and to talk me. to him so I can like <laughs> see what's going on. Right. And I passed <laughs> out in the lawn chair. It's our yeah, it's our shit show room. It's so good. Mm -hmm. That's how we roll. So yeah, we don't have a finished basement yet. Actually, where we are right now, guys, if you you'll eventually see it. The we are in our unfinished basement. This is fake. These are everything's fake. It's concrete walls. There's a bounce house over here. There are a shit ton of toys over here that are either broken or just left unheard of. And then like boxes from when we moved here. Sounds but like everyone's house. Like have it together. We don't. It's a lie. <laughs> Everyone has toys and crap everywhere. It's just the way it is. Yeah. It is. It's life. It's life. You yep. got kids, you've got toys everywhere. Yep. See here we have toys and whiskey. Uh, We're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Both pretty much everywhere. Yeah, Steve A says green screen, not a green screen. This is um flooring that Bobby bought up at Home Depot. I, dr I drilled it into some particle board and propped it up against the wall. Right. It's a, it's particle board. And these <laughs> gates we actually had as a decoration for our bedroom, but we thought they'd be cooler down here. And then this mm -hmm. was um, donated to us by one of our people that watch us who makes that shit. That's yeah, awesome. That, that thing's awesome. I, I really like the, the barrel. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, it's badass. Mm -hmm. Especially free signs are even better. Right? <laughs> <laughs> D Silve, I'm not a big fan. I'm not a big fan of you, D Silve. So suck it. <laughs> oh, yeah, he doesn't like the. I, don't, I think he's talking about what the whiskey. <laughs> Whatever. I love you, D Silve. We're best friends. Poor, poor Dustin was just trying to talk about some whiskey and he gets <laughs> rated in, in chat. I've met him in real life, so <laughs> yeah. it's, we're good. Yeah, Dustin will be we're fine. Bestie. He's used to getting shit all over. Yeah. <laughs> he can handle my snark. That's hilarious. Oh, he certainly can. <laughs> uh, have any of you guys had the uh, the pin hook cast strength? You tried this one at all yet? Mm. No. Mm. no. I'll try it. 
Let's see how it is. Is this your first pour out of it, Matt? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I don't know. I'm hoping for good things. I pulled the wax off earlier before I got on because mm-hmm. making sure that it wasn't technical difficulties with bottles on air seemed like a good plan. Right. Have you had the uh, the regular? Yeah, I've got the regular and the rye too. I mean, they're, they're you bad. better just pull them. Yeah, we'll see you in ten minutes. <laughs> yeah, because I mean. Yeah, because the orange label is the regular bourbon, and then the green one here is rye. Now, why the hell almost every rye has green on it? I still have never got that explanation. It's the pickle. It's like a damn requirement. Yeah. Because it tastes like pickle. It tastes like pickle. There you go. Yeah. William has a really good speech about about rye and pickles. <laughs> pickle, pickle, pickle. Yeah. Sure, William. I don't know if you could do it that good again. I don't know if I could do it that good again. That was a really fun speech. Well, just tell the story. Don't don't you don't have to reenact it. <laughs> when we were down getting our whiskey psalm uh, medallions, part of the course was actually a storytelling exercise where you were given a topic and had to tell a story about said topic. Uh, I got rye, which is my least favorite whiskey. Um, I, yeah. I get primarily pickle on rye. When they're nice and old, um, it transitions more to a, a dark mint, which I can stand a little bit more. But for the most part, rye comes across to me as a dill note, and I can't get past that. Whether it's a high rye bourbon or just a rye itself, I can't get past the pickle once I find it. So I got up in front of everybody and just did a, uh, a speech about rye whiskey. And instead of actually giving real notes, I inserted the word pickle uh, instead, and everybody laughed quite a bit. <laughs> uh, I was Pickle Rick and introducing uh, all of the fun flavors of rye, which included pickle and pickle and also pickle. <laughs> it was quite entertaining. Well, it's okay. I just oh, boo. It. Boo. That's and we'll still review it. Maybe it'll open right. up since it's the first time being Yeah, up. it's your first pour. So we'll see. We'll, we'll give it a whirl. What's the um, actual strength on it? It is um, 115.3. So that's pretty good. Yeah. And you said how old, Matt? It's only three years old. I think the regular one's three years too. Yeah, the yeah the regular and the cat strength are both three years old. I'm pretty sure these are sourced. Yeah, hand bottled, but it doesn't say where the hell it was. Uh, I'm guessing MGP more than likely, but who knows? Yeah, it doesn't say. Yeah, it doesn't say. Um, yeah, anywhere this is distilled or anything. So I'm guessing MGP. Oh yeah, it does. Here it is, distilled in Pittsburgh, Indiana. Yeah, MGP. That answers our question. Yeah, not a surprise. Fifty percent of America of America's whiskey comes from there. Yeah. No, it's right there. Which Willet were you just pouring? They're in their own little world. They're in their own little world over there. If you can hear me, which Willet are you pouring? Uh, he. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> we're having, we're having, we're having a, whole a side another... conversation. Yeah. I, <laughs> I, <have sometimes. laughs> I poured the four-year Willet rye. <laughs> nice. No, it's not. Oh, there it is. You're right. That's been there for years. Yeah. Pickle. She told me, okay. She told me I have a zit on my nose, and I'm like, that's like a growth or something that I've literally had for years. <laughs> and then the more upon further research, he's right. It, it's been there for a long time. But I also poked him in his nose I, by accident, like so, and it hit something. I don't know. We're a hot mess over here, but we, we'll have our shit together eventually. Maybe we not can't see it if that makes a difference. So yeah. It's good. What is that though? <laughs> so it's all good. We're all good. We we figured it out. But yeah, having our shit together out. is not really a requirement. Yeah. <laughs> On that willet, do you get that high pitched um, dill note, or or has it kind of transitioned it for years? For so, you? so. Um, to t- on this one, not so much. Now on the three year, on its on its own, I, I get it a little bit, but it's it's manageable. But we w- when we compared the four year next to the three year yeah. side by side, as soon as I tasted the four year and went back to the three year, the three years tasted like straight pickle juice, and I couldn't drink it anymore. 
Mm. And you love the four year. Yes. Like he doesn't even, he loved the three year and then he tried the four year, compared it to the three year and was like, fuck you three the four, year. The four year ruined I the three year for me. Yeah. Yeah. And that's I, great. I, I, I know what you're talking about because, because I'm not, a, I, I, so I definitely get, not a, not in all of them, but it, especially in younger rise, I get that uh, mm-hmm. deal sometimes. And when I do, it, it's hard to get past. Yeah, it's the only note I can focus on. Deal doesn't bother me. I like, I like Will it and all the other. That's one of my favorite profiles on Rise the Deal. Mm. I think I like Dill too. I mean, well, I think of Dill Pickle in real life. They're great. <laughs> They're right. They're the tits. So that's so now now this though the four year like I get dill on the nose and, and I get it a little like I said I get a little bit uh on the palate, but it it it's I don't know, it's it's just such a it's such a balanced I, I don't know, it, it it doesn't bother me on the four year. I think the four year actually, like I was saying earlier, has already started making the transition from dill to mint. Yeah. Yes, that and apparently it, sometime it's still in there. A green note. It's still a green note, but it's not nearly as sharp of a green note. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The the five year Willet, which you can find. I mean, I don't have one, but I, a buddy brought one. That was really good. You guys, you guys tried that one. The five year. I'm surprised if I have something that. Yeah, I think she was shocked you didn't have something. Yeah, <laughs> it happened. <laughs> I'm that. Not often. Not often. Not much. <laughs> <laughs> it works out pretty good. I can't really complain. You know, that, oh, that could be a fun game. We name a whiskey and see if Matt has it. Find one he doesn't have. I wonder if we can make a drinking game out of that. Yeah. That's not a bad idea, actually. If he doesn't have it, you have to take a drink. If he does have it, he does. I have hiccups. This is not good, guys. Like, yeah, like that'd be the game. Like, if we if we can produce a bottle that he doesn't have, right? If we can produce it and he can't, yeah, I like that. Take shot. I'll be right back because I I have something I know he doesn't have. But no distillery only. It's no no distillery distillery only. only. That's the rule. Is that the rule? Everybody like ran. Everybody ran to their. Stash, I have the hiccups, guys. I'm fucked. <laughs> That's fine. Hold your breath, and right when you think that uh, you need to let it out, hold your breath again. <laughs> yeah, if it's four gate, I don't have it. Surprise. We don't have four gate. Oh. <sighs> we borrowed that from Larry, our uh, oh, okay. not a bartender. He's a bar owner. I shouldn't say bartender. That's a dick move. <laughs> He's he's a bartender bartender for a bartender, but since he owns it, that kind of sounds a lot better. Yeah. Right. He's the bar owner. <laughs> Matt, I have a I have a question for you, Matt. What is the what is the oldest open bottle you have? Not not oldest as in like aged, but how long have you had it open? Sixteen years. You've had wow. it open for sixteen years? Yeah, because it was a it's from the uh Goodfellow Air Force Base trip from the day I turned twenty one. It's a uh, it's wow. a bottle of military special rum. Really? Holy shit! <laughs> tastes fine. Still tastes like crap. Really? It still tastes like crap. I'm. Sh- it tasted like shit when it came out 20, 16 years ago. Still does today, so it works fine. <laughs> All right, Bobby Zeller's got shit to show you. Williams about to get his ass beat because he drank all of my freaking whiskey. That one's good. That one I have. Which one, the Herman? Yeah, I got that one. You picked them up? Yes. Yeah, I've got, yeah, I've got yeah. one. St. Arnold Reserve. Yeah. The Divine Reserve. Good stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Steve wants to know if he can bring a 15-year unopened ball of military special. <laughs> sure. Why the hell not? I mean, who's going to say no? And be like, no, I don't want your shit. I don't want anything. Uh, oh, oh. All right, Matt, you got a lobby. Lobby. I don't know, Matt, you got a lobby? I bet Matt has a lobby. I'm pretty sure I've seen one of those over his place. He's talking to somebody right now. I don't think he can hear us. Yeah. <laughs> Matt gave up on us. 
I think one of his children is up. No. Uh, no. Okay, we're good. No, I, my wife has asked me a question. Uh, hey, you got lot B? Do what now? Lot B? You already know the answer to that question. Because <laughs> <laughs> you guys already talked about it? We talked about it. I'm going to send you a sample. <laughs> what about this one, Matt? Have you tried? Do you have this one yet? No. Johnny Walker Green Label? That's one. You know I don't have that. You knew I don't have that collection one. collection blows. <laughs> yeah, all right. We'll share with you either. <laughs> Do you, do you have the uh, the? Oh, you said not no distillery. No, yeah. you know I don't have that one either. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's not fair when you already know the things I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> how about how about a uh, Rock Castle Bourbon whiskey? The hell is that? It's not distillery oh, it's only. Not, uh, it's Kentucky. It is only. a new. It is a new distillery, and <laughs> and it, it doesn't get outside of the state of Kentucky. <laughs> Now that thing looks black in the in the That's, bottle. Okay, so yeah. what's the story? It is black in the, we'll send you some. What? Yeah. How yeah. old was that? Um, I don't think it's very old, actually. I don't think it's, it's like five gallon think... barrels. I mean, it looks like coffee. Yeah. So it says aged a minimum of two years in small <laughs> bourbon oak barrels. Yeah. I, I, that's it's, right. Right. it's probably yeah, five. It's probably five. Five. Yeah. So I don't I don't know how small, but they must be small. Yeah, maybe got, one one market, got one of those mini aging barrels and stuck it in that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. We have one. You of know those. what? Though, We're gonna do it. It's not bad. It's, it's actually bad. pretty good. <laughs> we'll send you some. It's it's uh what this is this is bottle two hundred one of five seventy five. So it's pretty small. Mm. I, I would love to try it. I, don't bother me. I'll how try about Old Maysville right. Club? <laughs> yeah, Old Maysville Club. Doesn't make it to Texas. Don't doesn't exist. <laughs> hey, this is like, I Matt, I'm pretty mad on this because we're fucking you. We're taking you in the ass because <laughs> we are in Kentucky. We don't yeah, shit that I mean, doesn't leave the state. I know none of you have this. These hillbillies have for moonshine. Nope. Oh, you got all kinds of stuff I don't have. Oh I'm yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. You know, that's not the way the game it. works, though, Matt. That's not the way the game works. It's no, the no, 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 no. I know you don't have, and I don't have any Franzia either. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, is going strong right now, guys. Look, I'm filling this bitch up. <laughs> this is the dark red blend. Don't forget, yeah, we should, we should do an episode of wine and bourbons and make the what's the best blend. That's yeah. a good, yeah. I could be <laughs> yeah, 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 let's do it. Mind that live stream? Awful whiskeys and blend them with Franzi and see what happens. See what happens. <laughs> what can go wrong? Hey now, hey now, no. can I get some nice wines? No, don't What's talk some nice shit. wines we can actually do. No. Well, you would know. That. You would know. You're way fancier than me. I only drink box wine and five dollar. <laughs> right, so yeah, wine sommelier, whiskey sommelier, super fancy. Yeah, we'll get Eric Wade to weigh in on it. I'm sure he'll be in great shape on the wine. And that last yeah. time send him some, get him to uh, to rank it for us. There you go. Well, there you go. It's a good idea. Yeah. I want a, I yeah. I want you to. I'm going to give you all my favorite boxed wines, and I want you to put them in order. So <laughs> 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 wines it oh, it's it's possible. Awesome. Yeah. You really need him to do that now. That sounds absolutely yeah. hysterical. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't that be? It really awesome? does. I would love to see that. <laughs> We're doing it. We're fucking doing yeah. it. Yeah. To send Sarah your 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 box wines that you enjoy, and uh, she'll start buying them. I'm she'll pour them blind for me and film it. I know she will. Yeah. That would be awesome. That would be I'd awesome. Watch that. Yeah, I'd watch that for Next sure. He tries the best box wine. <laughs> oh, it, Jason Coates has a good idea. Uh, we can we can uh, season. We we have one of those a fresh mini cask. We can season it with Franzia and then do a Franzia finish on something. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> a Franzia finish. Oh. So fancy. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, Franzia oh, cask. Oh, that, you have to make this now. Mm -hmm. It's got to happen. I, you know, I've got some of uh, the Buffalo Trace uh, weeded um, white dog. Yeah. So maybe we could do a mm. Buffalo Trace weeded white, uh, dog. Uh, white dog or Finished weeded Franzia, Franzia finish. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> turns the Franzia red. It turns it red. Yeah. Guys, yeah. my bourbon boner is this big right now. Thank you. Turn the hell out of that. This big. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. What about my big bur <laughs> bourbon boner yeah. on B Buffalo Trace and Franzia? 
Don't care. Don't care. <laughs> don't care. <laughs> Hashtag don't care. <laughs> yep. Matt Bailey's going to get it. Add the or the uh your your lovely natty light your orange natty light over the hell that crap was oh. you had on there. So the it wasn't orange, you fuckers. It was pink, pink lemonade, whatever it was. it was. Strawberry lemonade, natural light, and it was delicious. Oh. Shit, they had it on clearance the other day at Walmart for like twenty uh, bucks for a thirty pack. <laughs> you missed out because that shit is fantastic. I'm picturing it's pretty much just flavored water. Like that's it literally wasn't. what I'm picturing. No. It's so sweet. Honestly, it tastes good ish. That's all. That's but, all you have to say. It after, tasted good. But after one good. drink, it's so sweet. You can't you can't drink anymore of it. Yeah. So the question is, what do you add to it to make it better? Nothing. It's I love. I love. <laughs> that's a good you make Franzia and and, and uh and uh, Ardbeg or something like that. That would be good. Oh, oh man. Ooh. I find a touch of peat monster adds a yeah. lot of wonderful complexity. Mm-hmm. Nope. 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 It's a good point. Oh, he's going to do it. Even oh, better. going for it. <laughs> <laughs> that bottle was so conveniently right there, Bobby. It's right, right there. Right, right. right there. <laughs> mm. So what? Yeah, what does it smell like first? Yeah. <laughs> Complete. And then make Sam drink it. I will. Here, you try. You smell it. <laughs> He's laughing. No. Right no. no, it smells like oh. you poured like. Oh, he's drinking it. That's <laughs> oh, no. That good. The Isaac Bowman was better. <laughs> Isaac Bowman and Franzia was good. I can tell you right now, this will taste like shit. I think you're going to like it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're a liar. Yeah. I think you're a bag of dicks, is what I think. <laughs> oh, God. This hurts my brain. Right here. Let's on, everybody's waiting. Let's, let's see. Let's order pizza. <laughs> we want your tasting notes on this, okay? <laughs> right. Uh. Oh, I feel her pain. I feel her pain. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like shitty expired meat <laughs> down the line. Oh, oh. Uh, oh. Uh, shitty. <laughs> shitty wine, Franzia. <laughs> yeah, pouring this out. Congratulations, no, Bob! You just ruined Franzia for forever now. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. See, now she buy better wine. Yeah, yeah. that problem. Yeah, just the different Franzia. <laughs> oh, that sounds awful. Should add some coke to it to make it better. <laughs> I don't think it'll work. That was a big pour of Franzia too. I saw that. <laughs> yeah. That's the end of that Franzia. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It's the mixer version of the strip club. He's probably right. <laughs> they saw that at the brass ass right. Franzia and the Freud. If you want to know what the brass ass tastes like, it's <laughs> different. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. It's a perfume you can get in the in the bathroom there at the brass ass. <laughs> right. <laughs> the little guy there, you know, towels, wash your hands. He's got this little giant bottle of this shit he's dumping on people. <laughs> it makes the girls smell better. It does. Yeah. It does. Yeah. I don't even know if it makes them smell better. It's just like a, a it, it's just like a mixed scent at that point. <laughs> <laughs> cover it up. <laughs> makes it more tolerable. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's Sam, it's like Sam trying to throw up or something. <laughs> right. It's, it's hilarious. <laughs> Ooh, that's just sounds like a horrible place. Just painting it was a great picture, and all these poor people are going to this place, and they're gonna be looking for Franzi and Lefroy, and, and people are gonna order this crap. <laughs> <laughs> you know someone's going to do this now. <laughs> that's the scary part. <laughs> oh gosh oh oh that's good so matt bailey says it tastes like licking the toilet seat at the brass ass oh, oh god, god. Oh. 
and 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 Matt, I will say Matt Bailey is is a local guy to here, so he might know. He would know. Yeah. <laughs> so he, he checked out the toilet seat himself. That's fantastic. <laughs> that might actually be a real tasting note. <laughs> yeah. oh. yeah, we don't need a channel toilet seat tasting. No. <laughs> That's too funny. What are you moving on to now, Matt? All right, so I'm moving on to the. Uh, it's a 19 year Glen Leash. It's a it's mm. an independent bottler of it. They had it on clearance, I think, for like 60 bucks. Mm. Nice. Can't complain. That's for sure. What are you guys drinking now? <laughs> I poured something that you don't have. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Johnny Walker Green Label. Have you even tried this one? Last nope. time I talked to you, I haven't even tried this one. Have you? I, I meant to try it in the vault. I looked at it, and then I forgot. <laughs> you had a lot of choices there, I'm sure. So. Yeah, we did. Stupid shit that night. Really good time, I'll tell you that. How we, drink, we drank Floki, and it didn't suck because it was like whiskey number 20. <laughs> I didn't even hey, try we, it. Do we both have something that Matt doesn't have? Ooh. Yay. Wow. How old is your bottle? Does it say pure malt on it? Uh, no. Um, let's see here. Blend, no, uh, blended malt scotch whiskey. I have an older bottle. And it actually says on it, pure malt still. Oh, we yeah, should bring that over. We should review that. Yeah. Before, <laughs> say before it's all gone. It's, gone. Yeah, before it's all gone, I'm saying bring it to the house so we can review it. Okay. <laughs> Matt just wants to try it. No, this is definitely not an older bottle because this uh, has an award from 2017. So I'm guessing it's... Oh, there's Jose. I yeah. made a screwdriver and I brought some prosciutto. Jesus. Yay, meat. You know, you know why you, you know why you're craving that, Sam. It's because Bobby poured that Lafroig for you. Exactly. You got all that Lafroig and thought, oh, I want yep. smoked meat. But guess meat. what? Need that meat. It's because you're out of Taco Bell today. No, I don't have Taco Bell. I have this le legit. <laughs> <laughs> That's what? a way to eat some serious meat. <laughs> Not a Place of ham. Oh. You want some? No. What if she feeds it to you like that? Eat the meat. <laughs> Does it make it more feeling if she dangles it in front of your mouth? Right, exactly. Uh, I got to ask, though, is the combination of prosciutto and orange juice, does that really work together? I got to ask no, that. No, the I'm not drinking it yet. And the orange juice is mixed with vodka. So. Oh, okay. All right. oh, okay. But not much. I didn't put much in there. No, it, improved, it, it improved the vodka, though. No. <laughs> yeah. Right. Bobby about my prosciutto. I'll tell you why. He judged me. I, I will say, like, Sam had, had a, a a few glasses of wine and was about to go to bed when when Matt <laughs> sent the message, like, "Hey, you guys want to jump on and do this?" So she, she he started off as a shit show and it went downhill real quick. <laughs> <laughs> But we're all entertained. That's all that matters. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's right. I texted my wife that I was on my way home, and she said, well, I'm going to be on a live stream. I was like, oh, yay. <laughs> I honestly thought, should I just go to Matt's? Oh. <laughs> That's where all the whiskey is, though. Yeah, smart. Yeah. Not, not, the, John, not the Johnny Walker green label. No. <laughs> I'm, making money. But I'm pouring myself now. you're drinking. <laughs> Yeah, it's one of the few because I don't own the uh, the black, the double black either. Yeah, mm -hmm. I tried it though. I actually, tried it yesterday at a bar. It yeah, was uh, it, it was not it was not exciting. I was I like, get the double yeah. black upstairs. It's it's got extra peat in it. That's about it. As the rest was like, eh. so we switched over to the uh, Glenfiddich nineteen year Discover Road. That was fantastic. Mm -hmm. Definitely drink more of that. I feel like yeah. those whiskeys might not be in the same category. Just just a little bit. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> one was really good. One was me. Yeah. You can yeah. drink it. Why the hell not? I think I like regular Johnny Walker Black better, to be real honest. I really? was really disappointed in the double black. I'm like, yeah. this is supposed to be good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, not it's great underwhelming. Yeah, exactly. Underwhelming. That's a good choice. Especially if you said you like, you know, people who like the peat more, you know. Yeah, because that's 
all you got there was you know when you get most single malt peated whiskeys just so many other flavors behind the peat or mm -hmm. the type of peat and everything makes a big difference but that one was just you got the peat on the nose and a little bit of the taste but there was nothing really behind it it was just boring yeah so i mean who knows it, granted it that was they had they did open it so maybe it needs to sit around and open up for a while so it, it was a brand new open bottle so it could be that too i don't know yeah Try it again mm -hmm. some other day. It's not anytime soon. It's kind of like Johnny Walker Blue, which I personally find boring. It's super smooth. It's got that going for it, but as far as complexity goes, it's like, eh, Jerry Jones drinks it. Good for him. <laughs> Have you had a chance to try the Ghost and Rare? I think it's a lot better than the regular Blue. Oh, it's significantly better. I like the Brewer yeah. better than the Port Ellen, though. Yeah. I haven't had either one. Yeah, we're not hip <laughs> to that. <laughs> I will at some point, but I'm not there yet. I, I bought the $500 whistle pig and and almost died as a result. So <laughs> I got, it's going to have to be a little time before I buy the, the Johnny Walker Ghost in Blue. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I think I those are both pretty good, though. Those are the blues I like. <clears throat> I don't like own a bottle of the Ghost and Rare. I actually got poured a, a glass for my birthday this, you know, last year. So awesome. Like, that's, that's the reason why I've tasted it. The Brewer version or the Port Allen version. I want to say the Port Ellen. Okay. Yeah, I, I think it's funny. It's just a, I think the I think also because the Brewer is a higher proof than the Port Ellen version. No, uh, I think maybe that's why it's a little bit better. It's a little more complex, I think. But th they're both good whiskeys. You can't really complain about either one. But yeah. uh, I think the Brewer is a little because I think the Brewer is eighty-seven point six, nice. and I think the other one's just four is uh, eighty. So mm -hmm. it's not a big difference, but big enough. But you know, it's whatever. Mm -hmm. But I like it better. I was, I was at my uh, just my local store the other day, and I just saw a, like a 50 ml of the Johnny Walker Blue, and I was like, "Hey, you know how much is that? Like, let me just get one of those." And they're like, "Oh, it's thirty bucks." What? I was like, "No." I was like, "Okay, yeah. no, forget that." That's so here's how I got mine. They had a, a, a four pack of them. They're all like 200 milliliters, mm -hmm. and it was like eighty five dollars. You got the red, you got the black. The gold, the platinum, and the blue for like $85, 200 That was a great deal. Well, the 200 yeah. milliliter, and that was actually, yeah, that was a good deal. It was like the 200 milliliter on its own is like $70. So, like, yeah. the best, the rest for 15 bucks is like five bucks a whiskey. I was like, this is a great wow. deal. Yeah. Especially mm. with the gold and platinum in there. Which are also both, because I think the platinum's over 100 and the gold's pretty close to it, too. So, mm -hmm. it's got an eight, I think the gold's uh, 18 year. The platinum's NSA is, is, uh, NAS, but no, they're both, those are both pretty decent whiskeys. Moving on to the dovetail for my final pour of the evening. It's almost time for bed for her. I then 23.8 for mm -hmm. Yeah, the dovetail, that's good. Very, very my good. Jam. Totally my jam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's her favorite whiskey in the house right now. Mm. Also, a result of the, uh, the Austin trip. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, There's a lot of layers to that dovetail, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, finding new things, but yeah, that's probably one of the best fun. barrels there is. Is the dovetail? Yeah, I haven't heard great things about some of their other products. Uh, I've heard that I've heard mixed reviews about most of the other stuff that comes out of dovetail. This is this is the first one that we've tasted, I believe. Yeah, I think every there's plenty of good ones, but I wouldn't say amazing. Well, the funny, have you guys had the Infinity bottle from Barrel that's got the Polish whiskey in it? Mm -mm. No, that one's actually pretty good for what it. I think it was like fifty bucks. Yeah, that's actually pretty good, surprisingly. Do you have it? Yeah, I've got it. It's a very different right. whiskey, but I do have it. All right, I'm coming for you. <laughs> We're in the other room. I don't know which box. Oh goody! <laughs> uh, I'll remind you. I'll remind you next time we're open. Yeah, it's always good when we're trying to do a review, and I have to go find it in a box. I'm like, yeah, maybe I'll find it in an hour. Yeah, <laughs> it's possible. So maybe. Not so much. And sometimes I tell them, "Come back later. I'll find it sometime tomorrow." Yeah, we still need to come back later. Especially when they're like, "Oh, there's like I don't know. I think the other room's got I don't know three or four hundred whiskeys in the other room." And it's like, I don't know, it's in one of these boxes. 
So That's who a knows? Terrible problem to have. Yeah, it, it's horrible. I'm gonna be tired. Can't find it, and it's just it's just annoying. <laughs> pull boxes apart and find out what's in there. And then you find out you have the stuff you don't even remember you have, and you're like, oh, this is good. And then you forget why the hell you went in there because you've been drinking whiskey trying to find another whiskey. <laughs> it's a slippery slope, Matt. <laughs> it happens often. Pass I'm in there looking, looking, looking and then two hours later, you find it. Yeah. Sam's going to bed, guys. All right. Bye, Sam. Thanks for joining. Night, Sam. Night, Sam. Night. She's got to get up for work in about five and a half hours. Oh, yeah. Sarah's going to be joining, doing that same thing. Sarah, Sarah. Sarah's going to be doing that same thing. Come here. Come on. Come on. Get no. the, the doggy. Is Sarah going to bed too? Uh, she will pretty soon. I don't know if she's actually going right at the moment, but she'll be going here pretty soon. Okay. Well, if you guys want to wrap it up, we can, or we can keep hanging out. Either way, it works for me. I, I'm good. Yeah. I'm, I'm, good. <laughs> I'm still having a good time, and now we can make fun of Sam while she's gone. Right, <laughs> right. Right. Better just watch the video tomorrow. She well, you know what though? She will. So, like uh, at her job, um, she's she does uh, like I don't know when she's doing computer stuff. She's able to have YouTube on in the background. So I guarantee she'll watch this tomorrow. So <laughs> if I run my mouth about her. I'll hear about it, which I'm okay <laughs> with. <laughs> you took pictures of her asleep already. How much worse? I was gonna say you drew dicks on her. You <laughs> drew dicks on her face. I'm sure you're gonna her. Her. Yeah, exactly. I think you're good, Bobby. Don't worry about it. The, yeah. day, the, the day I drew dicks on her face, I then <laughs> took a picture of the marker like uh, under my dog's paw. So that way, I'm like, he did it. I don't know. <laughs> nice. <laughs> The dog did it. That's I would always blame the dog. That seems reasonable. <laughs> He's mischievous, you know. He threw the, pen, he he the sharpie in his on. mouth and, had him, and it magically turned into a dick. <laughs> right. yeah. It's like the best dog art ever. <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh, that's too funny. Oh, what else is up here? Oh, what else is good? Let's see. How about a uh, red breast uh, cast strain twelve year? Always a good choice. Oh yeah, That's a great bottle. Hell yeah. I don't know. I mean, I like the fifteen, but I think this is better than the fifteen. Now it's not better than the twenty one though. The twenty one is just glorious. But but that's a pretty drastic price difference. Oh yeah, there's no mm -hmm. doubt. So yeah, but I'm with you. That the that cast strength is fabulous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that cast strength is so good, so good. Yeah, that that needs to be on our review channel here pretty soon. Do that. Yeah, we talked about, talk about Red Breast. Breast. Yeah, we need to just do like – that'd be a long review, but we could do all five. Maybe we can do that on our live stream one day. Yeah, we should probably just do that. That'd be a good topic. Do you, Matt, Matt, do you have the uh, Jameson Gold? I do. That – that I like – that's and, – and I don't have a real extensive uh, Irish background. I think that's probably my favorite. And and then uh, not far behind it is the the cast strength um, red breast. Yeah, as far as Irishes goes, um, Middleton makes just phenomenal stuff. They're uh, they're different virgin oaks, different forests, estate forests are just out of this world good. What'd you whip out, Matt? Oh, this is the red, red breast cast strength. I still have a sample of that that you gave me. Oh, uh, I don't remember. I gave you lots of stuff. I don't know. I'm affording it because I can't afford the bottle right now. Yeah, but you know where the bottle lives. You can, you can always have it when you're here. I know. But there's so many other things to choose from. Yeah, well, that's true. Red Breast is one of my favorite irises. And then the, the spots. I like the spots. All the Green spots. Spot, yellow spot. Red spot. Yes. Just tried the red spot in April. It's wonderful. Oh, that's right. You tried it in the vault, right? The red spot. That was the first thing I went for. Yeah, I think <laughs> the first thing in there was the um, the green spot, uh, the Barton. That thing was awesome. Because I've never yeah, seen the Barton ever on the shelf here. I've got the Chateau of Montalena, which is really good with the I Barton. I tried the Chateau, yeah. Yeah, that's the first thing I went for. I, I didn't care if I tried anything else that night. I yeah. wanted to try that red spot. Then we switched over to uh, 
Art Big Lord of the Isles, which was mind blowing good. Yeah, no, I went for everything that was the highest proof in the vault. Smart. That's that's the way I went. Choice. My wife mm -hmm. just hung out with a bunch of Taliskers and had a great time. <laughs> well, I'll 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 switch that up. I went down the Glen Morangy line or Glen Morangy, however you say it. Don't all know. The, it all tastes good. All the special releases that I hadn't tried yet. Oh yeah, yeah, all those other ones. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So that was good. Um, uh, Andy Man can ask cast strength. Have you guys had the uh, Red Breast 32 Dream Cask? No, because no. when we went there, they finished it. Mm. It's mm, all yeah. Brad's fault. <laughs> and then he has a live stream and he has another one of these things, but it's in Damn Canada. Brad. Yeah. It's like, you better bring that back in October. Did you? Did you guys see the uh, the little trailer that Redbreast put out today? By the way, no, I did not. Oh, it's just, it was literally like just like a thirty second YouTube video, but it was some whiskey they're putting out. You should you should pull it up and and um, screen share it. That requires technology that I don't know. Thirty second like teaser thing that Redbreast put out today. I have no idea how to do that, but sure, I can put it on my phone. Let me see. Let me see if I can do it. I don't, I don't know if I can since I'm not the. I'm bad at technology. <laughs> I can probably screen share on mine, but your guess is as good as mine on the hell to do that. So I'm gonna I go. Look. My job is not technology. Yeah, I'm, I'm with you, Matt. I had to Google how to uh, live stream from Google Hangouts. Hey, we're only really doing this because you, you, you gave me verbatim notes of how to do this. <laughs> I'm looking up but, like, however Bobby says do it, that works. Because it took me two days to figure that out. So Man, I'm, I'm glad I was able to. I never figured that out. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm amazed you've had no uh, no technical you know hiccups or anything like that at all. Knock on wood. <laughs> yeah, knock on wood because it, it, YouTube's notorious for that. So The only issue we had was uh, for whatever reason, I sent the, e the initial, I didn't send the email like three times. To set everybody up tonight. Yeah. No, so it but wasn't it, just me. No, it went to Never Neverland. <laughs> okay. Who the hell knows where it went? Whatever. <laughs> it worked once we got the damn email going because because last night we were checking it out. Um, we just set the invite directly from the Google Hangout worked fine, but then I had to send it from email, and then we finally got it to work. So, who the hell knows? It's the way it goes. But you know, technology. Third time's a charm. Exactly. So let me see if I can find this red breast video here you're talking about. Let's let see. me um, let me see if I can pull it up on mine. Yeah, I can pull it up right here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know if there's sound dude or not, but we'll find out in a second. Dear God. I don't know if this is the one that I saw. I don't know, but if whiskey's that thick, that is some hell. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. This is it right here. Five Dear eighteen Lord. ninety. Hmm. What does that cost? That looks like damn syrup. Right. I'm intrigued. Where's I that bottle? Try syrup whiskey. Why not? That bottle right there. The sexy bottle. Mm -hmm. But they say they say in the beginning it started as a dream, as a dream. Must be a new dream. Uh -huh. uh, that's what I'm thinking. I, I'm thinking that, and I actually I think it was Josh Galladay who actually posted that today on like the Whiskey Tribe or something that I okay. saw that. But... Certainly probably. Could be. Yeah, I don't. I don't. Yeah, sounds good to me though. I mm -hmm. do love red breasts. I haven't had a red breast product I don't like. Same. There's just different extents of which ones are better than others. That's for sure. But still, you can't go wrong with red breasts. Yeah, now, a couple people in the chat are saying that is the new Dreamcast coming. So okay, we'll then I guess that must be what it is. We probably won't see any because Brad will get it all. <laughs> right. Probably. It's all in Canada. Damn Canada. Yeah. Canada, eh? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, blame Canada. Canada just steals everything. Oh, like Andy said, a 375. Oh. It did look like a smaller bottle. Like 
Yeah, because that's the other one. Like that Dreamcast, I think it was like six hundred, seven hundred dollars, something like that. It was expensive. Yeah. And it was only a five hundred milliliter bottle. Mm -hmm. But no, not that we were, no. That was like the only thing I think that was really looking for in the vault that wasn't there anymore. But there was plenty of other really amazing things we tried in there. Oh yeah. The locked cabinet was just glorious. We just had a blast in there. <laughs> so, so is that is that just uh, free range? Yes. Yeah. That's well, yeah. Once you graduate, it is because you okay, yeah. oh. your thumb, and then it's your library. Yes. Wow. It's technically, our learning resource. That's yeah. Great. Right. Makes sense. It's the best learning resource ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <for real>. yeah. <laughs> Greatest library we ever. More. Then we go to my house. It's cool if I had that. Yeah, our, our library here doesn't suck too bad. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Steve, have a good night. Thanks for coming in, bud. Thanks, Steve. Appreciate it. Hi, Steve. Yeah, good night, Steve. Steve's the man. Steve is uh, responsible for uh, Iowa Ski She Wines uh, Discord you set up for that. I guess Monday. On, on Monday, I'm like, yep. Somebody said something about Discord, and I was like, yeah, we might need to set up one of them Discord channels. And then, like, before our thing was over, he sent me a link to my Discord channel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Steve is awesome. He, he does a great job. He shows up in a lot of the chats, pretty much in everybody's. He does a really good job, and he's a lot of fun to hang out with on the Google Hangouts and stuff that we've been in with him before. So he's uh, definitely, te definitely technology savvy. Way, way to hell past me. As are most covered. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. It's, it's, old. it's that time of night that I'm I'm going to old granddad. It's it's oh. to the, the I'm switching to my daily drinker because anything else at this point is it's not gonna it's not gonna taste it's all gonna taste the same, so I might as well right. go with my, my go to. Yep. Don't waste the good stuff. Right. Yep. Oh. Andy bottled down a bottle of the peat monster. Woo! I only have like a uh, 20 amount left in my team. Just gonna bottle down for two. Yeah, absolutely. I like that one. I use that as an addition. All right, Wisty Explorer okay. checking out too. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Good night, guys. See you later, Jeff. This is still pretty great. It's got, we got 22 in the chat. I don't know. It's been like a couple hours. That's pretty great for first yeah. time doing. Don't know a damn thing what the hell we're doing. I'm, I'm telling you, mine and Sam's first chat, I, I don't know if we got above seven. So mm -hmm. and we, we were well into the 30s, high 30s at one point. So yeah, which is awesome. Yeah. I'm pretty excited about this. That's good. Yeah. yeah thanks, everybody. Oh, Travis is still here. You know, Travis. Okay. So our first person, says it's, it's the Iowans, but specifically, I think Travis was in charge of a. Uh, packing it up so we really appreciate everything they've done we're gonna do a bunch of reviews of their stuff but i i'll grab one of theirs and we'll just see what it tastes like right now i'll <laughs> grab one of these things it was quite surreal getting our first donation mm -hmm. i don't know if you guys have uh had that experience but that was uh it was fun getting our first donation it was pretty pretty amazing mm -hmm. the first what First Thanks. donations, first, first whiskey, other people. Oh, yeah. yeah. Let me see if I can find the picture real quick. I'll see if I can uh, show you guys the picture. So we got our first donation from Travis and a bunch of the Iowans, and I'll get their names here in a minute so they get recognition. I, it was amazing. He's like, oh, I'm going to send you some stuff. I'm like, okay, cool. This box shows up. It's, it's insane. Mm. I was ecstatic how much stuff was in it. So let's see. Let me find it here real quick. Um, where the hell is it? That's the real question. Yeah, there's, there's, I don't know. There's, there was probably like 15 whiskeys in this thing. Oh, it's craziness. It's awesome, but craziness. Let's see. Where the hell is it? This is the thing. When you want to find things, of course you can't find them. Oh, here. <laughs> wait, here it is. Is that the one I want to show? No. Nah. Yeah, here we go. I don't know how great this is going to look on YouTube. Probably like crap, but just to give you an idea of what it looks like, it's like this whole this whole damn thing is just oh wow full of freaking whiskey. So that's what. So one of the things he said. So let me get you all the guys' names that were from this. 
Um, so they sent us this special distiller only single cast selection and it is finished in, in a chocolate and cherry wood barrel. So Ooh. it's 47 Ooh. that's from Cedar Ridge. It's a single malt whiskey uh, up there in Iowa. And it's, I've had uh, their, I think their bourbon and their single malt, wow. which are great. So I'm, this is me pretty excited to try this one. I guess he picked this one out for us. So let's let me get everybody's names here so everybody gets recognized. And of course, technology on the phone, as usual, not doing great, but you know, what else <laughs> do? Uh, let's see here. Shipped, shipped as mouthwash. Yep, that's right. Olive oh, oil. <laughs> mouthwash. There you go. Let's see. I know. You got, got to get creative these days. Mm-hmm. Nothing is more creative than Sam's uh, ideas. What the hell she says pita whiskey tastes like? Because that shit's hilarious. Oh, I know. <laughs> Dank vampire dungeon. Uh, yeah, she's. Uh, she described one as the guy from. Um, the, the guy from Nightmare Before Christmas dancing around in her mouth, giving the middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Wow. That's, that's detailed. That's good. All right. So here's the names. Okay. So the guys that donated this specific bottle is from the, the Iowan uh, Magnificent Bastards, which is Travis Wooler, Tony Cronin, Troy Fortress. Brandon Hayes, Matt Lynn, and Steven Jackson. So I want to thank all you guys. So, But this is what this thing looks like. So nice. we'll see what this thing tastes like. So I figured I'd save it for our first live. And since I just saw his comment, I want to see what we hear, we've got here and put the chat back on. So I just want to thank him for sending all this whiskey. And it's really appreciated. This is awesome. So let's see here. Open this sucker up. Glorious sound. Great sound. It's a good one. Ooh. You don't get that sound. Let's see what we, we'll see what we taste here. It's got that new wood, but I know it can't be that old. Um, I'd imagine it's probably two or three years old at most. I'm trying to see if it's got an age statement on it here. I don't see one. Hey, Travis, do you, how old is it? Do you have any idea? Oh, so let's see. He says it's a 70% malted six-row barley, 30% chocolate six-row malt, roasted right. barley, aged in New York barrels with cherry wood spirals, added in for finishing. Wow. Okay. So this should be nice. very interesting. Hmm. You definitely smell it's newer because it's got that sawdust smell on it, that new wood, but not an unappealing new wood. And you got, I can see the chocolate and the cherry for sure. He says more than three years at least. More than three years, okay. What's the proof on it? It is 47%. So that's pretty good. Four. Smells good though. Yeah. So let's see how it tastes. No, that's really good. Mm. That's good. Mm. Wow. That is definitely chocolatey. <laughs> but really pretty damn good. Any uh, whiskeys you could compare it to? Um, let me think. Compare it to. Yeah, you know, Not like you have seventeen hundred. You, you get some of the flavors in the Balcones uh, rye because they use mm-hmm. that. They also use uh, they use a chocolate rye in that one, so it's got some of those similar flavor notes. Hell, I can pull it out and we can compare it and find out. Let's go with that. One. See how long it takes them. Yeah. I know what that one is. Surprising. Does that mean you can get it quickly? All right. So let's see how close it is to this. Now, I obviously, one's a rye, one's a single malt, but that chocolate note 
is this mm-hmm. is one of the few I can pick it up on clearly is the Balcones Rye. Let's see. Color difference is insane. Yeah, the color, of course. Yeah. No. yeah. This is, so this is Iowa three year. Texas. <laughs> I'll just maybe yeah. it's gonna only be two. Let me uh-huh. see. Hold, hold oh, that up a little higher. My my everyone else's picture. There we go. Okay. Okay. So this one uh, right here. This is the Iowa, and this is three years old. This is Texas, fifteen months. Wow. <laughs> the color difference on that is that's, insane. That's Texas for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You said that single malt was new oak. Is that correct? Yeah. So that's crazy. So yeah, this is New Oak, and then this is also obviously, and you know, obviously has to be New Oak too. But yeah, they both have the chocolate notes for sure. Hmm. No, that this is good. This is really good. I'm pretty impressed with the cherry wood hmm. for three years in Iowa. Because I guess the only the stories I know about, well, I guess there's some smaller ones. Maybe there's some other ones, but the major ones, I guess, are basically Cedar Ridge and Templeton. Hmm. Of course, mm-hmm. Templeton had of a, a lot of issues <laughs> with their uh, pre-prohibition Al Capone whiskey that was all bullshit. <laughs> so, but the funny thing is. Uh, there's another – oh, there's the other – what's it called? Um, Le- Iowa Legendary, something like that. They make a really good whiskey too. Okay, so Travis says they have controlled temperature aging at Cedar Ridge, but the bourbon is left open. So, okay, so this is oh, – okay. I wonder what hmm. temperature they keep it at there. Interesting. Let's see how the legs are on this thing. That looks pretty damn good for three years. The legs are pretty good. I know it's probably hard to see as far as on here, but that's not bad. I'm I'm impressed for what this is. Yeah. I'm excited to try that. Yeah, we'll, we'll give a full review on it here in the next few weeks. It's one of our this is one of our planned ones to do anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this smells really nice. <laughs> You know, of course, this is only not, but you know what? Actually, this is kind of similar. Um, some of the stuff we tried at Tawan Caro mm, has a little yeah. bit of a similar profile to this. That that rye malt we tried there. Mm-hmm. You, you got to try the sample, right, Sarah, of the rye malt? I haven't yet. I brought it home. She hadn't said. Uh, well, why not? I know. Dude, I got a kid and I work. <laughs> no reason to drink it. <laughs> No, he goes to bed and I'm like done. <laughs> well, hell, my kids are still awake. They never freaking sleep. Yeah, I couldn't live like that. He's been a he's been passed out since eight thirty. Must be nice. What what, what time is it is in Texas right now? It's eleven forty. Oh, so you're only an hour behind us. Yeah, we're yeah. an hour behind, so it's yep. not too. <clears throat> yeah, my my kids go to bed at eight. That's his bedtime as well. My, my, my oldest, when she was younger, she went to bed at 7 and it was great. She'd get up like the next day at like 11. Like the best, easy. Then you have a second kid. And this kid doesn't sleep and you're like, what the fuck is wrong with her? Why do you think we stopped at 1? They're like, yeah. Yeah. If, you, if I got the, first for, the second one first, there would only be one. <laughs> yeah, exactly how my two are. No, we had perfection and we stopped. Yeah, you can't ruin that. No. When, when me and Sam tried for our second, we got a two for one deal. So, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, see, yep. I don't want that. There's always that. No. Yeah. I was snipped before they were born. Burned oh, yeah. <laughs> now, I got my boy, and he's perfect. No reason to try again. <laughs> that works. Yeah, because it's funny. Travis says they don't mention Templeton in Iowa, which is funny. Because uh, I know Tony likes Templeton a lot. So that is pretty funny. But I, I like Templeton. I don't think it's a bad product or anything. I just think they should have been honest with what they were doing back when they got in trouble all those those few years ago. Yeah. I feel like 
honesty is the best. I mean, the best policy to do because it's, it's you're gonna someone's gonna know all the people in the world, especially hardcore whiskey people. You know, like us, like someone's gonna find out. Wait, if you're lying, if you're not being transparent, you know. Yeah, cause like back in the day, I think you'd probably get away with it. Now, not a chance. No, it's uh, like it's not like these bottles that'll say produced by. What the hell does <laughs> produced by mean? Yeah. Right. It's like or, or bottled in. Bottled, yeah, bottled in. in. At least I know they didn't make it. So just right. say, hey, you have to say where. But if it says Lawrenceburg, Indiana, we know where it came from. Yeah. Right. I, my favorite is the Nodder Bourbon, because they're they're right. They're telling you right there in the name. It's not our bourbon. Yeah. That's yeah. true. That's a good point. It's like, just be honest. Nobody cares. It's a source. It's a source. Mm-hmm. Does it taste good? That's all I care about. Yeah, I'm I'm just, just be honest. Say, hey, we didn't make this crap, but we aged it somewhere and, and it turned out amazing. And that's all that matters. Hell, have a brand that takes it and ages it all over the world and just see what happens to see the same whiskey. I think that this would be, I think, I want to say Balconis is doing something like that. Where they're taking whiskeys and putting them in different states to see how it ages in different states just for an experiment. So I'll, I'll be interested to see how that all turns out. That would be cool. Like, yeah. It just turns to, yeah, I mean, shit. You can see what, like, this is 15 months. Let's see, we got an older one. Yeah, I got some older ones up here. Three years turns into damn near black. <laughs> yeah. That's what Texas does. All right, because this one, okay. So this is 39 months in Texas. I mean, it just turns damn near black. Yeah. But it tastes really good. I mean, I don't think there's a Balcones product I don't like. So the only the only Balcon so I, we me and Sam brag about the Kentucky stuff and the bourbon stuff, but the only Balcones I ever see is the 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 blue uh the blue corn one. The baby blue? Yeah. Baby blue. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I, I feel like I feel like, and, and I've I've never tried it, but it's it's forty bucks where I'm at, and and I'm like, well, mellow corn is nine fifty, and it can't be four times better than mellow corn. So yeah, because here it's like thirty five. Some it's funny because I know when it came to Colorado like a month or two ago, they had it for like thirty bucks out there. I'm like, that's bullshit. How is it in Texas thirty seven <laughs> to forty? Yeah. But you got it in a new state. It's and it's under that. It's like although the new pot and still the distillery is thirty bucks. And at the distillery, it's like fifty. That's oh, the part that gets me is, is that the distillery prices are insane, especially more expensive to buy Alcona's at the distillery than it is the liquor store down the street from Alcona's. The the Kentucky distilleries <laughs> are the same way. So like 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 a, for example, uh, Mellow Corn. I was telling you at nine fifty at my local liquor store. And at Heaven Hill, it's seventeen fifty. So, and that's that's most of the distilleries around and here. And you have to pay for the tour. I mean, come on, I'm already paying to try your products. Well, yeah. most of the we time have- when I go to Kentucky distilleries, I don't even do the tour. I just go hit the gift shop. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, uh, Herman Marshall here in Garland, Texas. Their tour is free, and their bottles are ten to fifteen dollars cheaper. When you buy them at the distillery. Yeah, because we went to, to Banner. Banner was that way. Banner, yeah. It's 25 bucks at Banner. 25 bucks on the shelf for 35. Yeah. Yep. Mm. And, I mean, I don't know if they charge for their tours at Banner or not, but. I don't know, but we had a, we didn't. We had a damn good time down there at Banner. I'll tell yeah, you. Yeah, that, that was a great experience. With them. Yeah, because if any of you guys, if, well, actually, when you, if you guys come down for October, if you get a chance to go out to Banner, that's it's a tiny distillery, but they make a really good product, and the owners are fantastic. And it's, it's kind of out box. there in the middle of the country, but yeah, you feel like you're going to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, but that's a different story. <laughs> you're going the right way. <laughs> because these poor guys, the road these guys are on, may be the worst road I've ever been on in my life. It's like a one laner. It's country road. It's one lane, except for it's so potholed and so bad. <laughs> the the asphalt is like coming in the middle. You can't even drive in the middle of this thing because it will hit the bottom of your car and bottom out. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have a low car and you're bottoming out. It's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm like, I feel, I was like, this is ridiculous. The city should fix this shit. It's yeah. like, this is just wrong. It's like, ugh. I don't know. Texas, really they might own that road. Yeah, other than that, yeah, the whiskey's great. It's just you got to like, 
They're like, it's a funny thing. So we passed it. We're at this guy's house. That we passed. I'm like, he's probably like these assholes pass my house every day to go to this distillery, turn around to my damn yard. It was happening <laughs> every day to this poor bastard. It's going stupid idiot. He just put a sign, not the fucking distillery. <laughs> Like, no whiskey here. Yeah, no whiskey here. <laughs> because they got this sign. This sign, seriously, like the size of a freaking laptop. I'm like, how the hell am I supposed to see your sign? Like, make a bigger sign. Well, I mean, the giant silo in the front kind of gave it away. I, I realized that, but you know, as a driver, <laughs> you're just uh, looking for the for the freaking road names <laughs> and just drive middle of freaking nowhere. But, you know, it is what it is. But like I said, once we got there, the whiskey's great. It's a great place to visit. We had a lot of fun. They had a really a lot of really cool distillery-only stuff. They got a bunch of beer finished stuff, and uh, they had some single barrels that were great. Especially as I was getting a little bit older now, it's it's really good. Hmm. But yeah, yeah, I like, yeah, oh, yeah. And so Travis says, free tours and samples at Cedar Ridge. Those are my kind of distilleries. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Yes, I like those distilleries. Now, uh, now Buffalo Trace is um, not part of the actual Bourbon Trail because uh, the the actual Bourbon Trail distilleries charge, and Buffalo Trace wants theirs to be free, so that has excluded them from the the, the actual trail. Yeah, so which I think is pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. that is pretty cool. They're doing that. And all of theirs are free. Like they they have I don't know maybe four different tours and and oh, they're free. Oh, I they're all free. Yeah, you gotta oh, you gotta book them in advance if you want anything other than the 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 regular one. But but right. yeah, they're they're all free. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. That's like Balcones. You have to book it in advance. You have to buy tickets online and you know no, plan you that shit. Oh, the, other people do. We don't. <laughs> well, when we went, we had to. That was like a year and almost two years ago, maybe. I just called my people. They set shit up. We didn't oh, yeah. Matt, okay. Matt, Bailey, Matt Bailey points out uh, they also give you four samples at the end. And That's awesome. Yeah, you yeah. get uh, uh, the Buffalo Trace, the um, uh, Eagle Rare, Eagle Rare, their, 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 their cream, and, and then um, vodka, Wheatley yeah. vodka. Yes. yes. They used to do the white dog, and now it's the vodka. So, yeah. yeah. I realize it's vodka. How is their vodka anyway? Just to wonder. I mean, I hate it, but I hate vodka. So <laughs> it's, I'm not a good one to ask. I'll say it's it's different. It's definitely different than normal, um, like a normal vodka, honestly. But it's it's still not to me. It's not that great. But I'm not a big vodka guy either. You know, so I'm not either. But I will say the the vodka at Banner was great. That was good vodka. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed that. I'm not a big vodka person. Uh, Iron Root also makes an excellent vodka because they're not regular vodka. They're whiskey drinkers vodka. Exactly. They're yeah. they're not white dog. They're not whiskey. They're vodka. Just but, and really the only reason they're vodka is because they're distilling them at a higher proof. If it wasn't that, it would be whiskey. Mm. So it's just they make it's great stuff. And I was really impressed. I would buy their vodka for both of them. And no okay. problem would drink it neat. It's that good. Yeah. So my I mean, so my my buddy Larry who owns uh, Union Forty Two Bourbon and Brew I got I got to plug him that's that's my my bar that I go to he he just he's watching but he can't get he can't uh, comment in here so he's texting me <laughs> but he <laughs> said uh, Kentucky has a law thanks to way back like right after Prohibition times that um, they their their whiskey has to change hands three times for for tax purposes so they send it to their distributor. And, uh, and then the distributor sends it back before they can sell it out of their gift shop. So that's why the, wow. it costs more at the distillery. Uh, <laughs> that way they can prove what they're um, what they have to to avoid um, f to make sure they're paying the right amount of taxes. Right. That sucks. <laughs> what a shitty law. It's, I, it, it's, something, it's something that's literally a hundred years old that they probably need to fix. Yeah. Well, it's kind of like, hey, so we went to visit Tal and Caro a few weeks ago. Great whiskey. Their problem is the freaking city is dry. So they won't yeah. we try, they won't even give them an exemption to sell it. They're still trying to make them, you know, hopefully get an exemption. But as of right now, they still haven't given them to just sell it. So everything has to, you can taste it for free, but you have to go to the freaking liquor store to buy it. <laughs> it's like, that sucks. Yeah. And, and in fact, because not only, so the city's dry, so... I guess the next you get to drive. I mean, not go real far. I mean, to go a couple miles to get it. But it's like it's blows for them. They can't just get direct sell. Like, 
Most distilleries in Texas are in wet counties, so you can buy the rule in Texas. You have to buy fifteen hundred milliliters uh, per month if they enforce it. Which you know, subjective term. If they enforce it, some places I've been, I won't name what distilleries. They're like, how many email addresses can you provide? It says how many you can buy. Oh, okay, okay. I'm like, okay. I like it now, when you leave and you bought a case. Now, now, Bourbon mm-hmm. County, Kentucky is a dry county, which I find funny. Is it really? It is. That's hilarious. <laughs> you get down into Kentucky and it's like Southern Baptist, very, very, very conservative. Like, um, Actually, it's kind of funny. Uh, a lot of the girls that Sam went to college with at Eastern Kentucky University, uh, <laughs> They considered themselves virgins because they had only had butt sex. <laughs> oh my god! I don't know where those girls were where I was at school, but it wasn't <laughs> right. <laughs> they all worked at the brass ass. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow, that's hilarious. <laughs> Wow, that's well. I, I guess you know where to go to school at. There's some. Uh, <laughs> yep, there you go. Wow. Yep, they swore they were virgins. <laughs> I guess technically true. <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> we didn't have those college experiences. That's that's interesting. Yeah. Yep. All right. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Yeah, that's 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 great. Yeah, we'll we'll find something else to drink now that we talked about that. That's wonderful <laughs> news. Thanks for that horrifying visual. Yeah, that's not what I want when I'm about to go to bed. <laughs> Everyone wants to think about before they go to bed. D- well, DHL DHL says there's 120 counties in Kentucky. 38 are dry, 33 are wet, and 49 are moist. <laughs> Moist. Oh god. <laughs> oh gosh, it's funny. That's oh, such god. a dirty word. <laughs> a, sh- a big seller. Oh my god. That's gosh. funny. But Travis says in Iowa, there's no dry counties in Iowa, and you can buy there on Sundays. Mm-hmm. Not in Texas. Can't buy Jack. Not shit. in Texas. You can buy whiskey. You can buy uh, wine and beer. But not at a liquor store. You can buy like Walmart or Kroger, you know, Kroger. Target. Whatever. Target. But you have to wait. I guess it just changed. To t- I guess in September it'll change to 10 a.m. 10 a.m. Right now it's noon. It's, yeah. And it's, it's really silly. You gotta wait until everybody gets out before you can buy it. Yeah, because you can go to the wineries. You can buy the wine at the wineries. And you can buy the beer at the breweries on Sunday. Well, you can go to a distillery and be open, but you can't buy any damn bottles on Sunday. Because that's logical. But you can go no, to the but you can try to drink. can't buy any damn bottles. Yeah. This seems completely it's illogical. The silliest thing. It's like, okay, so I can go to the bar and get really fucked up, but I can't yeah. buy a bottle. This I makes am happy that we don't have I am happy that we don't have to drive like 45 minutes anymore to go to a Thank liquor God. store. I mean, there's one, you know, five, ten minutes down the road, but come on, give me Sunday. That's my day. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's true, because uh where we live, uh Colleyville is the closest city to where we live that has liquor stores that are out that anymore. Hopefully, well, then, they're supposed to vote um, in, the, in the city north of us is supposed to vote on liquor stores in November, so I'm hoping they go wet, too. I'm really hoping our own damn city goes wet, but who the hell knows? Well, you're great. technically North Richland Hills, um, Watauga. I'm you, never, you guys we're, never, Watauga? we're never going to go wet. Yeah. <laughs> But you know they're opening a new liquor store about ten minutes away from us. So which one's that you guys are going to? Uh, well, it opens at the end of the month. It's up off of um, Park Vista and uh, North Tarrant, I think. Okay, okay. So, so it's getting closer. It's getting closer, yeah. Because there's there's okay. ones, yeah. Because you got to either go to Colleyville or yeah, that that part of that's weird part of Fort Worth. Yeah, that that's how we get them closer. Is these weird Fort Worth laws, like. They have weird lines here where they have they're called um, uh, just as a peace districts, and certain districts in the JP were dry, so they just voted I think last maybe two years ago to make these JPs 
wet finally, even though they're part right. of a city that was wet, but the JP was dry, so you couldn't have liquor. Right. And so it really Texas screwed up the weird really. liquor laws in Texas. And on that note, guys, I'm about to head off to bed and send William back in here. Five o'clock's gonna come real fast. Yes, it is. <laughs> right. Bye, guys. All right, thanks for showing us. Yeah. William's taking a nap. She just doesn't know it yet. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, all good. So what are you guys drinking right now? Uh, I, I'm, I'm still on the old granddad, uh, which, like I said, that's, that's my that's my go to after I've had a couple. I might I might switch it up and, and grab something peated that 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 can still that's still something uh, oh. at this point that'll get my attention. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I, I just finished the uh, Jim Beam repeal batch. It's pretty good stuff. Hey, for like, what was it? I think it's like fourteen bucks here. That's a good whiskey for the price. Yeah, I think mine was sixteen, sixteen or seventeen, but still, even at that price, it's good for sure. Yeah, because what somebody said they combined. Ooh, Tony says Bush Light and Black Velvet. Oh god, oh, that's lethal horrible. combination. <laughs> that that sounds like a like a god awful hangover. Yeah, but no, it, it's it's. I think the best deal for the money though probably is like Bobby says that mellow corn under ten bucks. How the hell can you beat it for ten bucks? A hundred, a hundred proof under ten bucks. Mm -hmm. It's, it's uh, bottom it's bond. Bad. It's great. Yeah, it's really mm. sweet. It's like it, you can do anything with it. I mean, yeah, for the money, it, it's hard to beat. Yeah, I mean, they haven't changed the label since 1945, but I'm happy with that. Hey, you got to save money where you can. Yep. It's, good. it's funny. So I, I don't know if you guys ever look at the Patreon for uh, Whiskey Tribe. Is Eric Schwab talks about freaking mellow corn every day. It's hilarious. In Colorado, it's, like, it's 11.49 for mellow corn. It still is. I'm like, you talk about it so much. It was 9.99 here for mellow corn. And like maybe a month or so ago, it went to fifteen ninety nine. Like this is bullshit. <laughs> and then some people told me they yeah, can't even find much more. I, I still get it for nine fifty. That's awesome, man. All right. You know, the more times we say mellow corn online in these types of things, the price goes up a little bit. <laughs> <higher>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Captain's leaving too. Thanks for joining us, Captain. Appreciate it. See you later. Bye, John. Good night, buddy. Yeah, we still got 18. That's pretty damn good, I think. Yeah. Well, that's like I just typed in there. Like the this is a we're over two hours in on an unplanned uh Unscripted. live at one o'clock in the morning, at least yeah. in my time zone. That ain't bad. No, it has good. zero direction whatsoever, and we're having a great time. <laughs> exactly. That's the best part. It's like it should just be fun. I mean, obviously when we do other lives and we'll plan things for uh, but it's like Hey, nobody else is doing it tonight. You might as well do it. Right. Having a good time, so it's all good. The hard, the hardcore uh, whiskey people that that you know that they like to get in these every night. So we mm -hmm. gave them gave them one. Well, especially when you get the, the cool thing about only having a few is we can interact with them and answer their questions or whatever. Mm -hmm. Whereas you know you get some of them, and it's like there's 300 people there. I'm like they're never going to see the chat. It's right. just not going to happen. It's yeah. awesome to get 300 people in there for sure, but yeah. you might get one of every 40 comments too. Yeah, so it's you know. it's hard to keep up with the comments when you just have a few people. Just a it to, is. I, I have no idea what half people say. <laughs> no, exactly. so, I, so i'll tell you like like in ours and it's not like we get a crazy amount of people but like i'll go back and watch it the next day and then i'll see people sending comments that i totally missed and i'll feel bad yeah yeah, oh, yeah and that there's nothing i guess we can do about it is like well try it next time i guess just hope or yeah ha email us and i guess if it's something you really want to know we can certainly answer it next time yeah or, or, or i tell people m most people know but uh, for for those that don't like, if if you want one of us to to see it, type the the at symbol and our name, oh, yeah, and and, mm -hmm. and it'll highlight it on our screen, and we'll see it. And and yep. if it's not highlighted, we may or may not see it. But if you put it highlighted, we're probably going to respond to it. Yeah, yeah. So you know, it's it's hard. Um, yeah, because I it's, it's, I don't know. Yeah, when you've got a bazillion people in there, it's it's cool, but you can't watch these 
you can't respond. There's just no, it's not possible. Even with a moderator, it's just not possible. There's just too much, there's too much side chat going on. And, and you know, one question you do get, if they don't highlight it, you're just not going to see it. Right. Oh yeah. So William asks um, about Marianne Evans leaving. Mm. Or Eves or have they pronounced, I guess Eves, I guess. Eves. So she works, was Castle and Key, right? It was where she works at. Yep. It's kind of weird. I mean, that up in the middle of this one, this stuff's a, I mean, I tried, I was having tried the whiskey, but I did get some of the gin, which actually I thought was pretty damn good. But mm. her leaving, that's kind of strange. I'm just, I, she must have got like either a really good offer or there was like major um, right. artistic differences, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. I mean, she she said that she wants to do go out and, and, and work on like film career and stuff. I don't that's weird. That's bullshit. I, know. Yeah. I know, right? There's no nobody says I don't want to be a, a badass distiller. I want to work on film. No, I she don't was a, that story whatsoever. She was a hot chick in her twenties that was a master distiller at a at a at an up and coming place. Exactly. Like, like yeah, there's just no way. Like, there, there had to be happened. some kind of creative difference. Like, you almost wonder if the investors didn't want the product pushed out before it was ready, according to Very her, or something like that. Could be, or they wanted it before she wanted to put it out. Yeah, exactly. Now, so, so we had that problem here in Texas with uh, Balcona's with uh, when their master distiller was there once a few years, and then he got into it with the investors that. They wanted to put it out. So, well, the problem is, of course, as an investor, you need to make money. Right. So I get certain things, but so it's funny because like Baby Blue was the first whiskey prior to, uh, after Prohibition to come out. And they beat Garrison by like a couple months under the shelves, which was pretty, maybe it was like maybe it was just six weeks or six weeks, I think, um, for it. But it's a good, it was a good whiskey then. But then I guess you want to at least older, you know, hold it longer. And they are, well, the problem is, I think the Belconas prior was was good, but the new stuff released now in the fifty three barrels compared to the smaller barrels is so much better. Because mm. we tried mm -hmm. some of the young stuff in the vault while we were there, it's really oaky and just it's not bad whiskey. It's just not great whiskey. Whereas today, Belconas is making great whiskey. Mm -hmm. It tasted a lot hotter, if that's even possible. Yeah, hotter mm -hmm. and just super oaky. I'm like, it was, eh, it was good, but compared to the new stuff. The new stuff kicks ass. They make some I agree. fucking awesome stuff. I mean, I, I've never had a Balcones I don't like. I agree with that, too. <laughs> Considering the fact that they have, like, 20 freaking whiskeys. I mean, granted, I think probably four or five leave this state. But, you know, because what, yeah. what Balcones are even available to you guys up there I, in Kentucky and in Michigan? I've never seen it. Even one Balcones once up here. No, wow. don't worry. There's, there's some in your box coming. <laughs> I appreciate that. Everyone, everyone talks about it though. I mean, like, like you. I mean, just like you said, everyone says it's great. So, all their expressions. Yeah, there's not a bad one. I mean, some are obviously sweeter than others. Um, yeah, they're, they're a different audience. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, but because the baby blue is ninety two, then there's a two blue one hundred, and then the cast strength and hell, the true blue cast strength. Blue. Oh, that one's one of my favorite bourbons. Usually anywhere between sixty four to sixty eight percent. Mm -hmm. I mean, when they say cash strength, they mean cash they strength. Mean it. yes, they it's do. not 110. It's And the thing is, though, it doesn't taste hot and can hurt you very badly. <laughs> it's great whiskey. Okay, so Dustin says they get the malt, the blue, the brimstone, and one other one. Hmm. No, the brimstone. I love the brimstone. That's one of my favorite. That's probably that and the regular single malt. I've gone through several bottles of, and the so we also get store picks of Balcones here. So we'll get a uh, the single malt at cast strain, which mm -hmm. is usually like sixty five percent or so, and really freaking good. I've been through several bottles of that. <laughs> it's really good stuff. I, I, I hate it for myself because I was drinking too many of them. So I don't know where it is right now. I think I hit it in the other room on purpose. Yeah, but I had a case, but there's like three left. So so my my buddy Ethan, who's who's just got in the chat right now, he oh, awesome. um he's a he's a military guy and right. he's in Texas right now. And he called me today and was like, Hey, I'm in this duty free. I'm, I'm guessing it's on the base somewhere. Which duty free base? Shop. And what's that? What base? 
I, I don't know. Hopefully he he'll uh, he'll he'll pop in here and tell us. But oh, um, he he calls me and or he sent me like a video of stuff in the store and he calls me and he's like, you know, is there anything specifically you want? And mm -hmm. uh, and I'm like, actually, you're in Texas. What balconies do they have? And he's like, eh, this is this isn't like they don't get like local stuff. This is like a like a you know yeah. Thing. So I was like, eh, okay. so when we go to the classics here at it used to be called Carswell. Now it's the Naval Joint Reserve Base in, uh, in Fort Worth. The prices actually on Balconas are more expensive than a regular liquor store. But there's but like scotch and stuff, you can get incredible prices at the class six. Hmm. Probably about a fourth of this collection came from the class six at Carswell Air Force Base. Wow. Because hmm. the prices are just so damn good. And you don't pay tax either, which is nice. And they're open on Sundays. Because <laughs> it's government and they don't give a shit what day. The best thing at the class six is when, 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 when 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. at the class six. And those are freaking liquor store hours. Yeah. It's here because regular Texas law is 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Saturday, and that's it. Hmm. Hmm. So, well, you know. Ethan must not be with us anymore because he hasn't said anything in the chat yet. <laughs> yeah, I just wonder which one he's at. Because, like, like I said, when I got a good fellow out in San Angelo, the selection is not so great and the prices aren't great. But in, when it cars well, they're awesome. Yeah, it just depends, on, of course, on which base you're at. I'm just wondering if he's, or if he's at, like, Lackland or at uh, Shepherd or – just depends on which – oh, he's at Corpus Christi. Oh, he's at the Corpus Christi Air Station? I've never been to that Class 6, so I don't know. I guess we'll have to see what they get and see what the prices are. But yeah, our class six, especially come come uh, closer to the holidays, they get the great thing about that place is like they'll get Eagle Rare, and you can buy it by the case at discount. <laughs> wow! They're like oh oh, it's twenty three dollars with the case. Oh, it's twenty one dollars. Oh you man! Buy the case. <laughs> They're like, yeah, we don't give a shit. You can have a whole case of Eagle Rare. <laughs> nobody cares. But a case of blends, have a case of blends, whatever. <laughs> no, cool. Yeah, you know, like, oh, you want to order something? It'll be here in two weeks. But but you have to pick it up. If you don't pick it up in like a week, it's going to be sold to somebody else. <laughs> they don't care. If they don't give a shit. They don't care. It's, it's funny because they're like, who the hell buys this? Well, there's a shitload of retired you know, officers that come in yeah. and buy really good whiskey all the time. Right. And so they get really good shit constantly. And especially, like I said, near the holidays, you get scotch, just stupid good prices and really good scotch. They'll have... More scotch than a lot of liquor stores, and it just fantastic prices. It's like okay, because I think I got I said, we're in there. They had the Coila Twelve. I got sell for like thirty five bucks. Wow, it's just dollar whiskey. And they had Whistle wow. Pig, fifty bucks. It's, you know, just they've had oh, oh the best deal I think I probably got in there was a. Um, What it's called? Oh, Mortlack. It was a Mortlack. Usually it's like one twenty. It was on sixty bucks. Sixty bucks. Half price. Yeah, they're like, yeah, nobody drinks this. It's on clearance for sixty bucks. <laughs> they had the one seven five ancient age, fourteen dollars. <laughs> like this shit's allocated. They're like, yeah, nobody cares. <laughs> like, how many do you want? They're fourteen dollars. <clears throat> Can take six. off our hands, please. Sure. <laughs> Oh, you know, and then like I said, and then saying you get a case discount, and it, and the case discount doesn't have to be the same whiskey. It just has to be you bought at least six. Oh my gosh, that's wow. Awesome. That's yeah, crazy. so it's either it's either, but now if it's on sale, it's not a case discount. But if it's on regular price, it's case. And on sale usually means stupid on sale. Like my brother will go in there and he'll buy. Uh, they'll have Sky Vodka one seven five twelve dollars, and you get a two dollar coupon. So it's three bucks a bottle. It, it, or Barcardi's like $15 for 175 it, It's crazy. Because everything comes at basically it costs for them. And so you don't mm -hmm. pay any market and you don't pay any taxes. Wow. It's a damn good deal. Yeah. H&H yeah, is, yeah, Matt Bailey's asking, H&H is asking, H &H is allocated. Yeah, in Texas, it's highly allocated. Wow. Uh, a lot of stores, they don't even get it. And then other stores, it's funny, they do get it. It sits on the shelf. So it's like, why the hell is this allocated? Mm-hmm. And Matt's in Kentucky here with me, so it's it's at the bottom shelf of every liquor store. Tons of it. 
Yeah, I actually see that all over too. Like that's I have no problem getting that if I want any time. So that's so weird. Here, I know of two places that ever have it. Everybody else wow. can't find it. Wow, it's crazy. And, and it's not expensive. It's I think regular price is like twenty <laughs> bucks. I think something like that for one seven five. I know one store to get the ancient H and H ten star. Other than that, it doesn't exist. Wow. Mm. And it's like, and it's same thing. It just sits there because no one knows what the hell it is. And I got my bottles before they got it here. I was up in uh, North Carolina last summer and got a bottle. I was ecstatic to find it, which is stupid because I think it was like 13 bucks for a 750 <laughs> of it. Yeah. But I really wanted to try it really bad. I was like, because we wanted to do a uh, Mashville 2 night. Yeah. And that was the missing piece. And I will say, have you guys had the Ancient Age Preferred? No. Mm -hmm. It sucks. Really? It's it's blended, so it's twenty percent ancient age and eighty percent vodka. Oh, oh neutral that grain spirit awful. vodka. It's bad. Yeah, uh, I think I paid like fifteen bucks for a one seven five of it. I have no idea what the hell I'm ever gonna do with that bottle. I wonder how that compares to Franzia and Lafrog Ten. Yeah, <laughs> we should pour it in and find out. <laughs> yeah. Pretty sure it'll taste about as good. <laughs> Put it together. Um, that is, yeah, it's just not. It's not good. But, you know, if you guys had Tom Moore ever? Mm -mm. No. Okay. Apparent, I can't remember which story. It used to actually be a big distillery in Kentucky called Tom Moore. I forget what they changed the name of it to now. But they sell an 80 proof and they sell a bottle and bond here as well. And I think, and uh, it's fantastic. It's like 20 bucks for a 175 with this bottle and bond, no name. Tom hmm. Moore. But uh, apparently it used to be a really big distillery. I can't remember the name of the change, though. But I've never seen that bottle before. Tasty. But yeah, the only reason I know it used to be because I was looking at an old whiskey book from like the 90s. I found it like uh, Half Price Books. And they had this old name of all these distilleries because that's what they were called in the 90s. Mm -hmm. And so, because Buffalo Trace didn't exist then. They didn't, name, they didn't change the name until I think 99? Something mm -hmm. like that. So I think it was still I think George T. Stagg at the time. So it was just funny to find this old book with all these old ass names on it. So it's like, oh, I think, I think what was it, Jim Bean. I don't even know if Jim Bean was the name on it at the time. Hmm. Claremont, something. Like, yeah, it was really funny looking at this book. I'm like, done these so, distilleries. Um, You'll still. It's kind of like, um, uh, was it J? Was it JTS Brown? You guys had that one. Uh, yeah, I have a bottle. I haven't opened it yet though. That shit, that stuff's good. It's like ten bucks for a seven fifty of it of their bottle and bond. I was gonna say the bottle and bond one. Yeah, it's. I think that's the one I want to have. I got it when I was in Kentucky. Still nothing here, but yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, because we get we get the eighty proof JTS Brown, but we don't get the bottle and bond. But a friend of mine went to Kentucky and actually got it at Party Source. Because mm -hmm. you got that, and then you got the uh, JW Dant bottle and bond. That's also really nice. Yeah. So I, I don't I don't know if they're a Kentucky only. If, if I don't know if anybody else in the chat is a Kentucky only or not, but I know early yeah, I, you know, well, yeah the early times bottle and bottle. I have had that. I do have a couple yeah, bottles of that. That's a good bottle too. That's a Jim Beam product, I think. Mm -hmm. Which one? The early times bottle and bond. Mm, I thought they were their own I thought they had their own place. I don't know. I could be wrong. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Oh yeah, JTS Brown. T okay, what is TW Samuels? What's that? I don't know. You know what that is, Bobby? Uh, I, know I, don't. Don't. I don't know no. that one. Oh, it's Brown Foreman. Okay, okay, Brown Foreman does. Okay, that's why. That's why I don't know what it is. Okay. Good price. And hope you showed me exchanges on profit stores. Interesting. It, I'm looking up this uh, Tom Moore whiskey. I've never seen that label before, but it says it's produced um, along with Kentucky Gentleman in 1792, actually. Oh, uh, okay. So Barton. It's Bart. Yeah, that's right. It, yeah, so it's their distillery now. Yeah, so you see Tom Moore. Yeah, it really. I, I found. I was like, hey, twenty bucks. I'll give it a roll for Ball and Bond. I was like, this shit is good for for the price. Mm -hmm. Can't beat it. And it's just been sitting there. And I asked that story. He's like, nobody knows what the hell this is. I'm like, I'll try it. It's 20 bucks. Who cares? Yeah. I was like, this is really good whiskey for the price. What do you think like, of uh, Old Crow? I don't like it. Now, the Old Crow Reserve is really good. Yeah. But the Old Crow itself, I don't like. 
Have you had the reserve lobby of the old crab? I I haven't had either of them myself. Oh, either? Oh. No. <laughs> it's it's like it's it's everywhere, but I just you know it's bottom shelf. I just ever picked one up. So <laughs> you're not missing anything. Yeah. I don't have a bottle. I, I finished it, and that was the last bottle I ever bought because it's so. Yeah. <laughs> the reserve I've never the bottle I've never seen though actually. The reserve discontinued. Oh okay okay. No, I, I tried it. Uh, a guy had some dusties, and then another guy picked some up for me. They had the dusties that were like twelve bucks, mm. and the and they and these were legit dusties at the liquor store. I mean, these things they probably been sitting there for ten years. They might have oh, dusted wow. these things. Hell, I got a bottle of Compass Box Asyla. The damn dust in this thing was black. The bite, the box <laughs> is white. It was black on top. Wow. So, but the best part, I got the price that it was back in the day. It was like thirty five dollars. Sheesh. And now that now the thing's like fifty five. And actually, it's discontinued now. It went to like fifty five, something like that. And they're like, I don't know. Nobody ever, ever buys that. Well, clearly, it's got a black right. top on it and a white box. But it's good whiskey. So mm -hmm. actually, I'll scrap one. Well, while he's taking the moment, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I have uh, a lot of videos to edit for our upcoming thing, so. <laughs> I'm actually yeah. going to take a little bit of time to, to do that tonight. So I'm going to sign off for, for, the, for the evening. I really appreciate it. All right. Good night. It was nice hanging out with you, man. Yeah, yeah, nice hanging out. It. Yeah. Great talking to you guys as well. Uh, I hope yeah. the, the live stream continues for a little while. I'll, I'll try to keep it up on my phone and pay attention a little bit, but I've really got to focus on this stuff. So Yeah. I There's got so you. Yeah. Get on that. Cheers. 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 So, yeah, this is Compass Box Asylum. It's discontinued now. But yeah, it was a forty percent. But yeah, I think I paid like thirty-five bucks for it, and it's sitting there, and it's like mm. this black. I mean, just solid jet black on the top of this box. I think this store opened in two thousand ten. I got it last year, so hmm. can't complain. Yeah, I like old prices on whiskey. That's my favorite. Yeah, I remember. I guess it was a year or two ago. I think it was two years ago. It was a liquor store. I was like. I was like, where the hell's all your single malt scotch? Why don't you have any on the shelf? They're like, well, you know, I keep it back here behind the counter. I'm like, what the hell? I mean, this wasn't, it's right. We're talking like regular stuff, like, like Glad Live at 12. Nothing special. Mm. Uh, this is an area, we don't keep things like that. I'm like, can I just look? They're like, sure, whatever. <laughs> I looked back there and looked. I found this box from like 2007. Mm. Of uh, of an old Pulteney seventeen year, which they haven't made since two thousand seven. Wow! Jeez. So same price it was like seventy one dollars. Looked it up online. It's like a five hundred dollar freaking bottle now because oh it's gosh. discontinued. Did you buy it? Hell yeah! They're like, we don't know what the hell that is. You can have it though. I'm like, okay. Like, There's seventy one bucks <laughs> on the bottle. You can have it. I have not opened it though, because I was like, well, it's crap. I'm never seeing one of these ever again. It's discontinued. Yeah. So I'll probably open that at some point. Maybe for like our one year anniversary or something for the live for the channel or something. But for now, it's still locked up in the back of my liquor cabinet. So <laughs> but yeah, it's it's good. I, I'm assuming it, it's it's Bemore 17, so I'm assuming it's gonna be a good whiskey. Yeah. Have you guys had Bemore at all? Nope. Nope. <laughs> see, I need to see. So I've got Sam's box of whiskey ready to go. I need to send a Bobby box of whiskey. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're like, I, I like interesting. So I put shit Sam won't drink. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> put that we'll still have her try it. <laughs> yeah. What, what the crazy thing is, so the other night, you know, she had that uh that spring bank local barley, but I think she was like 20 whiskeys in, whatever the hell it was. Yeah. Like, there's no way in hell she really likes this. You'd love it, but as far as I was like, no way. Well, I think really good. yes, and and uh, was that was that the one that um, it's I don't remember now. Was that it? That's peated, but she couldn't pick up any of the peat. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, it's right. We followed she up with tried an it after Octomore. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. Octomore will ruin it. Yeah. Oh yeah. So he says T.W. Samuels is. Uh, Sam will drink scotch. Yes, she likes Deanston. Oh, so she tried Deanston? Oh. Yes, yes, that was uh, I think two lives ago. Which uh, which Deanston? I can't remember which one that was. Which Deanston was it? Do you remember? Twelve, I believe. Twelve. Okay, 
I wonder if it was the new bottle or the old bottle. It was from William. He could tell you. Uh, he sent us the okay. sample. So, William, which which one is it? The old or the new Deanston 12? Okay, which one? The brown the brown box or the white box? That's and uh, and Andy Man can said he got an Art Bake Dark Co for 89 covered in Oh, double. my gosh. That's ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> that's a really good price. They say that's the best art bag. A lot of people say that. Because it's true. <laughs> as far as far as stand well that's standard standard release of a committee release. Yeah. It is phenomenal. Yeah. I've I've got one open, I've got one in reserve. Cause I, it's funny because I went to a liquor store and they had it behind, they had it in their lock cabinet, like, yeah, it's sitting here for a while. I had it marked for one forty. I'm like, I don't pay that like like how about ninety nine dollars? Okay. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. They just wanted to get rid of it. I've never, I've never had a liquor store haggle prices ever. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, man, they just want to get rid of shit. Yeah, that's the problem in Michigan too. There's like state minimum prices that we can't even go below. So, so like, like the state, does the state set all your prices for whiskey there? So they don't set the prices, but they just set the minimum price. So they can charge anything above the minimum. But the minimum That's price is, is what it is, you know. And so, so like, no, you know, like a lot of states no have clearance whiskey for you. What's that? No clearance whiskey for you. I was just gonna say, yeah, like a lot of states have clearance on their whiskeys all the time, and there's no clearance at all. At least down <laughs> clearance down to the state minimum, at least is what they can do. But Chris, you need to move, man. I know. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> Tell me about it. Okay, so Ben Sacro wants us to do a top bourbons to bring to a get together. Ooh. So what? So I guess can can Ben? Can you give us some more? Uh, some <laughs> more, some more to work with. It? Like, are you trying to impress people, or are you trying to? Are you going like something lower price, like something you're going to mix? Like, like give, give us a little more to work with. Or introducing new non whiskey drinkers to whiskey, or what? Yeah, right, right. That yes. Like, that's a different question, right? <laughs> and then, and then, how like? Do you want like the be the best answers, or do you want like stuff that's available everywhere? Yeah, yeah. That makes a difference too. He, did, I don't think he realizes what what a loaded question this was. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, looks like he wants to, he said what I said, which was, um, I think introducing people to, to whiskey, I believe. Okay. You know I mean? Oh, available. Uh, available. Oh, so best of, okay. Best of, okay. So best available. Best available stuff to introduce people to. Yeah. Introducing. Inter eesh. Um, there's a there's a couple of them I guess um, the the most probably easy for me personally the most easy conversion was just regular Buffalo Trace because it kind of hits all the bourbon notes you want and it comes in like around eight years and the yeah. proof's not too high where new bourbon drinkers are gonna have problems um, and it's and it's twenty five bucks but yeah exactly exactly the price is great too so. And I guess who knows if Buffalo Trace is available I guess where he is it's starting to go on allocation a little bit but. Mm. What do you yeah. think, Bobby? If you can find Buffalo Trace, it's always a good one to bring. Eagle Rare, same thing. Yeah, Eagle Rare is great. Um, Elijah Craig is good too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Elijah Craig is definitely good. So, so, so side by side, I, I like Elijah Craig, but side by side, I, I like the um, Evan Williams um, sing, single barrel a little bit better. Yeah. Holy crap, Roy just joined in. Hey, Roy, how's it going? That's awesome. Wow. Thanks for coming, Roy. Aqua Vitae in the house. This is a first for me. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I don't know how many, what are they, eight hours ahead of us? Something like that, I'm guessing. I'm not really quite sure what it is over in uh, Scotland. Something like that. Early morning. Yeah, I guess he'll be hanging out with the dummies here in the next few days, which is pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. that's right. Because they're over there in Ireland. I'm sure having a great time. Yeah, it looks like they are. 
Yeah, so far, it looks like, yeah, they're having a great time. Well, 6 six thirty is what Dustin says it is over there. 6.30? It's tomorrow yeah. here. It's tomorrow here. Yeah. This is the future. So, Roy, uh, I, I got to say, I don't know if you've ever watched our channel, I Whiskey She Wines. Uh, <laughs> you, you, and I, it's okay if you haven't, I understand. Um, <laughs> but my, uh, normally, we're, we're a duo. It's uh, me and my wife, Sam. She loves you, and she is going to be so bummed that she missed you. She she had a yeah. little bit too much to drink tonight, and she has to work <laughs> in the morning. She went to bed. She, she is going to be kicking herself now, and this is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> You should tell her what Sam says about Roy. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> There's a lot of things she says about Roy that I'm not comfortable as her husband relaying. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Well, hey, hey, hey Roy, you're gonna be you're gonna be in Austin in October, right? Then I'm not sure what Sam's gonna do. <laughs> I mean, it, it could be pretty scary. <laughs> <laughs> Tell Sam I'm watching. He said, <laughs> "The kissy face emoji." <laughs> With the kissy face. She she's out. She she was she was uh, glossy eyed and and cross eyed uh, walking sideways about an hour ago. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Christine, you're right, Bobby. Sam is going to be so upset. Yeah, anybody that's ever watched us, she's going to be really bummed. This is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> see roy said the truth so she'll find uh, out in a few months and he yes yes he's going yes he'll be in austin we're coming to austin you, you'll have to make it a point to to come up and shake her hand that would you'd make her day <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes yes just just shake her hand please roy we, we can't don't go any you. farther <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no go to here, my roy. <laughs> that's funny yeah, I, I, I can't. Yeah, that, that'll be highly entertaining. <laughs> Sam meets Roy. That's more like a freaking meltdown. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's going to be like an Elvis concert as like a 17 year old. <laughs> it, yeah. it is. It is. She's going to she's gonna have Roy. Roy's going to be pronouncing Scotch words for her. She's going to melt. It'll be hilarious. <laughs> Uh, Roy, also earlier in this chat, we were we have a great idea for a video for you. You should put out like like you you do your how to pronounce Scotch, and that's great. I love those videos. You should do one where you're just trolling us Americans, where you pronounce everything wrong and see how many because we would believe you. <laughs> for all we know, you could have already been doing that. Hey man, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> he's like he's well, like yeah, I've done that twice now. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> He's like, Americans are dumb. They can't pronounce any facts. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. Yeah, she's gonna she's gonna cry. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. So Matt, what would you say since you're more the the Scotch guy than Bobby and I, what would you say are um good starter scotches? You know, like Ben had that question about the bourbons. If you want to convert over or you just want to start with scotch in general. Mm, not not converting from bourbon necessarily, I guess, but just like if you were going to a party and you want to introduce someone to scotch, like what would be your like top three starter scotches? To start start if you want to convert a bourbon drinker. The things I think the the best things to start with are uh, Glen Glenfiddich fourteen year bourbon barrel reserve, mm. uh, the Glen Ross bourbon barrel reserve, and probably maybe like Monkey Shoulder are probably the three that would be easiest to convert somebody over with i think you yeah. need to throw in a pete in case you get somebody that that just likes it like they might hate it and but there's some people that are just gonna like pete and that you're not gonna you're not gonna know unless you must you get it in there true throw it as, an, as a fourth one just to well here's three you might like and here's one why not <laughs> right you're yeah. probably gonna hate it but sure yeah You'll either love it or you'll never want to drink scotch ever again in your entire life. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> one of the two. One of the two. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You can go. You can go one or one way or the other. Yeah. See, Matt Bailey said he, he used HP twelve to convert, mm -hmm. and that's a light. You know, that's a decent amount of not heavy peated, but it's a lightly peated, and it's I like HP twelve a lot, which is Highland Park twelve. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's good stuff. Um. 
I like the 18 a lot from Highland Park. I like the, the 15, unfortunately, just continued, but it's pretty good. Um, what I really like from them is their uh, Dark Origins, which is a dark sherry. Uh, that's mm. really tasty. Yeah. Poor Sam. <laughs> um, but so we got lucky. We had Highland Park um, Global Ambassador out here in February. I got a phone call from the local uh, Highland Park rep, and she's like, "Hey, I need you to host a dinner tomorrow for me. Could you do that? That'd be awesome. Can you invite your friends? And we're gonna bring um, five really awesome whiskeys, which gonna be in the Valknut, the 18 year, the light." A 30 year and a 1970 vintage 40 year Highland Park. Jeez. And we're going to bring you a dinner and the global ambassador who comes from Denmark into wow. uh, your house. And we need you to have a party. Can you do it tomorrow? I'm like, absolutely. <laughs> All on one day's we'll make it work. So, yeah. So, we moved my dining room table into my living room, we got these uh, fold out tables, put some tablecloths on them. I think it was like 25 of us in my basically in my kitchen. So it worked. It worked out. All the food. Awesome. You want the five star dinner? Oh my gosh! The food was incredible. The whiskey was out of this world good. I mean, I've, I mean the freaking forty. It's a five thousand dollar bottle, which I will never be able to afford in my life. Yeah, fantastic whiskey. Once though. in a lifetime whiskey. Yeah, exactly. Once in a lifetime whiskey. But like, you have to invite fifteen of your friends though. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. That shouldn't be real hard to find. <laughs> You'd be surprised on one day's notice. So, yeah, I went through a big list. I'm like, whoever responds first gets to come. Yeah. So, but it's funny. There's some guys who would prior, I'd, I'd met them. They'd never like scotch. And then they'd come to a few things and they're like, hey, scotch is actually good. I'm like, no shit. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, so they got one of the, the guy happened to come to the event. He's like, oh my gosh, dude, that was, that was amazing. He's like, I'm buying Pete's freaking scotch now and stuff. It's it's really funny to see these people like, like, oh, you converted me over. This is wrong. How can I be buying scotch and Japanese and things? <laughs> like, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, and then we had, then uh, the other cool thing is, uh, you guys ever watch Liquor Hound? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. So uh, Chris who, Trevino, who, has a, who has a bigger collection between you and him? He has more liquor. I think I have more whiskey than he does. Okay. So it's not, I think his is around 24, 2500 of all bottles he's got, but he's got like an insane amount of vodkas and uh, tequilas because he's a specialist in tequila and in all spirits. And John, he's got certifications and all that stuff. Uh, so he's got more of that stuff, but I've got, I think, more whiskey than he does in total. So yeah, but he's a super nice guy. Hope I got to talk. Hope, maybe, he, maybe we can get lucky. Maybe we can get him to come down in October, but he's a super, super nice guy. Um, yeah, because I met him through uh, Robert, uh, that is the the owner and distiller of Iron Root. So yeah, but yeah, we've hung out a few times, and he's a super awesome dude. But he came that night and had a blast. So yeah, he's a, he's a he's a really cool dude. Yeah, check out his channel too; it's a great channel. Yeah. Um, but yes, he reviews every every kind of liquor you can think of. He reviews, you know, I mean, it doesn't matter. He has vodkas, gins. He'll do all sorts of liqueurs. Good, um, good in depth reviews too. Yeah. In death, really good reviews. I mean, and crap we can't get, that man can get. <laughs> yeah. awesome. It's like and, and it didn't didn't he like recently retire and now he can like before he, he was doing it part time <laughs> and now he can spend all his time on it. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's he's scary. A super cool dude. Uh, yeah, he yeah, he lives like 20, 30 minutes from me. So he's an awesome dude. Yeah, he has but he's got really cool old whiskeys too that I've never, he's the only guy I've ever been able to try stuff with like that. It's just mind blowing good stuff. Mm. It's just like, wow. And he does like really awesome picks himself and cool, just cool stuff. It's mm. like, if he had, I know I talked to Dustin about this the other day, is he had the, uh, that Murray Hill exclusive that they did and they made like 700 balls and he has one of them. So he brought it to the house when he had to try it and it was amazing. Mm hmm. Yeah, it's like whatever he brings with him is always amazing. The, nothing he's bringing is gonna be bad, because when we did the Iron Root event, he brought a bottle of Starka with him, which is um, technically it's a, I guess it's kind of a combination between a whiskey and a vodka, but it's a Polish liquor 
base and they kind of bury it in the ground when a kid's born and they, and then they dig it up and drink it when the kid gets married. Um, but it's really good. So he brought a bottle of it because the distiller was out and he happened to still have one and brought it for us all to drink. We finished it that night and he was pretty cool with that. So that was, that was the first time I ever met him before. And that was cool. And he brought some awesome whistle pig, uh, pixie and done and stuff. And yeah, super nice guy though. If you guys get a chance to watch his stuff, you shouldn't. I read a meet in person. Definitely do so. Mm hmm. But yeah, we need to see if we can get him to join one of these things. He doesn't really do live stream. He just does his reviews. So right. we try to get him on one night for sure. Yeah. But he'd be, he'd be, he's a lot of fun, though. And I'll talk to him about it, see if we can get him on one time. It's, it's crazy to me the amount of whiskey tubers that don't do lives because I feel like that that opens up a whole like world. Like, yeah. like me, yeah. me and Sam, I, I feel like I, I said this in the chat earlier, like I feel like we do better in lives than we do in our videos. And, yeah. and, I, and, and like, I don't know the, the fact that you can interact and everything. It's, I don't know. I, I, I don't know why you wouldn't do it. Yeah. yeah. Cause I asked him about it. He's like, no, nah, I don't really do them. He just does his reviews. He just, yeah. I guess it's, it's probably, it's not for him, which is not for him. It's not for him. It's no big deal. Yeah, right. If it's not, if it's not, but uh, you know, I, I'm sure cause because he really knows his stuff. Like if, oh, if people absolutely. would, people yeah. would, people would probably love to be able to get on and ask him stuff oh, yeah. and have him, re you know, give his opinion. Yeah, he's a freaking genius. I mean, mm -hmm. really, really good. Yeah, he's got. Yeah, like I said, he's got all sorts of certifications too. So he's, I mean, legit freaking expert. Yeah. yeah. I think the thing about live streams too is like you don't know what you're missing until you actually do it. Like that was my thing like once i did it and it was so fun like i just every week from then on i just looked forward to doing live streams you know yeah because it is it's so fun inter like you said interacting with everyone and just chatting answering questions all that stuff it's so cool it's all yeah it's a lot of fun i i really enjoy doing live streams mm -hmm. yeah absolutely yeah this has been a blast tonight so mm -hmm. definitely be looking forward to doing these way more often like i said hopefully like this night just happened to be a night because nobody else was on so yeah. uh, I, I don't want to take anybody's spots, but probably try to do Monday nights after you guys are after you guys are done. So because on because Chris, I guess could you go live on Fridays and Bobby and Sam go live on Mondays. Mm -hmm. so our plan is to go Mondays because after they finish, because William his at his regular job is a wine psalm, and his only night off is Monday nights and Sundays. But since we don't want to do something, because we usually do our episode, we film our regular episodes on Sundays. Mm -hmm. So Monday night's the logical night for us to go. Right. Live. Well, and that yeah, that, and then and so we 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 drag on for two two and a half hours because because there's no because why not? But yeah, we we could absolutely you know wrap it up in in a whatever reasonable amount of time whenever you guys want to go on. No, that's no problem. And we can always drop you guys in ours too, so we can always just continue the chat. It doesn't really matter. Yeah, yeah, right. It's like you can just you can start it. <laughs> well, it's funny because you know it, it, it's become what I've noticed with certain nights, certain tubers are on pretty much on a consistent base that night. It, it's kind of like back in the '90s when you had uh, the must see TV. Well, now it's the must see whiskey tubers. Depending <laughs> whatever night they are, constantly live every week. Yes, yeah. yeah. It's like Seriously. you kind of plan your we, life we, around. You know, it. we we watch we watch. I I love watching other whiskey tubers live and being yeah. involved in the chat and stuff, you know? Yeah. Chris on Friday, uh, the whiskey Dick when he's on, on Friday, bourbon junkies on Tuesday, uh, mash and drum on Wednesday. Like we, we love that stuff. Uh, scotch test dummies when they're on, on Sunday, right. Uh, bourbon night, on, uh, on Sunday. Like right. you know, we, we, I, yeah, I, love I mean, for it's bourbon, I usually plan my freaking Sunday around their stream. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> I mean, we have problems. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> like, you know, I mean, it's just what you do on Sunday. What do you do at 2 at well, central time here? It's like, what do you do at 2 p.m.? You watch It's Bourbon Night. Right. <laughs> right. Because that's what I do on Sundays. <laughs> yep. Now, because we met them in Austin, too, and they're, they're awesome people. They do, I mean, fantastic stuff with bourbon. I mean, they will outdo us on bourbon probably forever because they are the freaking bourbon affectionados beyond belief mm -hmm. so it's like whatever i know on scotch they know in bourbon which right. is awesome i mean just awesome with bourbon yeah but, you know we're we're getting them slowly to drink scotch so i'm happy about that <laughs> hey i've given them i think five or six scotches now and they've liked all of them so i consider that a win 
Okay. All right. Well, let's see if you can keep that going with your Sam care package. Yeah. I think that'll not, I think that'll work for Sam. <laughs> I think I'll have to make a Bobby package. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll make a Bobby package and put it together with it and send them out. This, this makes sense shipping wise to send them together anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, and films and, and William uh, Poppy says he's still here, and that he, we should film some episodes. Yes, that's always a plus. The Scott Whisperers here, yeah, I, I try. I am pretty good at that. It is amazing how many people I've been able to convert over to Scotch. Not so much they won't drink bourbon anymore, just that they like Scotch. Yeah, mm -hmm. or they will like Japanese or Indian or whatever. Because mm -hmm. I met them, I probably know them like about a year or so. And they're like, oh, I'll never drink that. I'm like, oh, because you haven't met my collection yet. <laughs> like, you bet. That's all it takes. Well, and, and, and I'll say, so because because scotch, because there's such a <laughs> wide variety of scotch. And so me being a bourbon guy, like I, I know what I like on bourbon. And I know I like peated scotch. But beyond that. I'm scared to buy stuff because, and I'm probably going to like it. You know what I mean? But I don't, I don't know where to start. So mm -hmm. um, now, now I, I've had, I've had some people give us samples of stuff and I'm like, Ooh, that was really good. So, so I, I am learning that way, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's interesting um, getting into the, the scotch game. Yeah. yeah there's such a, a wide variety of flavors in scotch compared to bourbon. It's mm -hmm. just like, Bourbon is kind of like flavors are here. Scotch is just all the way. I mean, this is just a huge difference in scotches and the flavor profiles you can get in scotch. Yeah, why? Vastly different. Yeah, just what they do with the the finishing alone. I feel like in scotch, you know, it can be it's such like you said, such a wider range than bourbon in general. So, yeah. I better think about wrapping up. I got to work in the morning. <laughs> I I normally run on like four hours of sleep anyway, so I'm right about at that time, so I'm good. But all right, you know what? Nope. It's probably it's probably a good time for me too. Yeah, I got I got I got a honeydew list to do tomorrow. <laughs> Sounds yeah, good. I, great, buddy. It's been awesome for sure. Yes, yes, I I loved it. I, and we need to, we haven't had anybody on our, our channel yet. I'd love to have both of you guys on. We okay. need to get the bourbon junkies on. We need to, we, we need to start getting people on our channel. So I want to, we're going to start making that happen. Well, thanks for coming yeah. on guys. I really appreciate it. It's been an awesome. First live stream for the channel and it's been great. So I've had a lot of fun and hopefully all of our, uh, everybody here watching the chat still really enjoyed it. And hopefully this is a lot more of these coming in the future. Yeah. Thank you guys. Uh, whoever, all you guys who stayed here the whole time. I see a lot of names who have been here the entire time. Yeah, you guys are freaking so, awesome. That's craziness. So thank you guys. Yeah. All right, guys. Everybody night. Everybody have a good night. Appreciate it. Thank you guys very much. And we'll see you guys later. Good night. Good night. Guys. Cheers. 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 <laughs>